Come on. It's got to be in here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, uh, yes. Sweet, my sketchbook. I can't believe Mark stole it from my locker. <laughs> What a loser! I worked so hard on these, and I'll need them if I'm gonna be a trillionaire someday. <laughs> a trillionaire? Yeah, right. You should just give up drawing, Jackson. Your drawings are trash, just like you and your clothes. Yeah? Well, you're just a spoiled brat. What did you say to me? You poor loser! Give me that! Hey! Ugh, you jerk! Give me back my sketchbook! Mark, stop running! Give me back my sketchbook! When I catch you, I'm gonna... Ah! Oh! Oh, no. I'm sorry, Willem. Watch where you're walking, you freak! Ah! Oh! Oh, man. Oh, where'd he go? I think I lost him. <laughs> there he is. No! My sketchbook! Ah, uh, oops! Uh, I hate you, Mark! That was my only one! Oh my gosh, what the heck are you idiots doing? Urgh. Which one of you lowlifes did this? It was him, obviously! What? No, I didn't! I was trying to stop him! Yeah, Principal Salt, I need you in room 202! Now! What's going on here, Frinkleberry? This idiot tried to burn the school down! See? He set a book on fire! Jackson, you're suspended! Finkleberry, get him out of here! Yeah, no problem. Move it! Come on, loser! Let's go! Ha <laughs> ha! You got suspended! That's so stupid! Yeah, whatever, Finkleberry. Is this where you live? <laughs> wow, what a dump! Shut up, Finkleberry! You literally live at the dump! <sighs> hey, Dad. Don't just hey, Dad, me! You got suspended on your birthday! It wasn't my fault, Dad. Mark got me in trouble. Enough excuses. I don't want to hear it anymore. Ha! Nah, stupid cake. Ha! Dad, stop. You don't tell me what to do. You're a disgrace. Yeah, happy birthday to me, huh? Ah, <sighs> this sucks. Listen, don't worry, man. He, he just didn't find a job again today. Happy birthday, dude. You shouldn't have, man. We don't have any money for gifts. <laughs> just shut up and open it. Oh my gosh, a, a new sketchbook? How did you know? Oh, what? You're always drawing in the one you have. I figured you might need a new one at some point. I hope you like it. I love it. More than you know. Thanks, Ethan. Hey, you're a good artist, dude. Keep it up. You're only getting better. I will. And one day, I'm going to be a trillionaire. Hmm, is the lighting wrong? No. No, no, I think this looks good. Yeah. Hey, Jackson. Oh, hey, Tristan. What are you doing? I'm just working on my comic book. Here, take a look. What do you think? Whoa, this is great, dude. You have a talent for this stuff. Thanks, man. I've got to keep drawing if I'm going to be a trillionaire. <laughs> a trillionaire? Dude, you're still going on about that? It was just a dream you had. Yeah, that's what you think. I know it's going to make me rich one day. You'll see. Dude, check this out. A comic book competition? Winner gets their comic book published? And a thousand dollars? Yeah, you could actually make some money if you win that. Oh yeah, and I'm going to win. This comic book is coming out great. Oh, I'm loving this. And I just need to keep working on it. Oh no, I'm out of paper. Oh man, I don't have any money to buy a new one. I definitely don't want to ask dad. But maybe Ethan has some money I could borrow. Hey, Ethan. Do you have any extra money? Extra money? Who do I look like? Chuck Flanderson? I need to buy a new sketchbook. It's really important. Sorry, man. I don't have any money right now. What was this about money? Uh, nothing. It's nothing. Tell me the truth. I need some money to buy a new sketchbook. <laughs> yeah, no. We're not spending our money on some dumb sketchbook. Well, Dad, if I win, I could get $1,000. You could get a thousand dollars if you got a job! If you want money, get a job like me and your brother! <laughs> Good luck finding one too! Sorry, dude. Yeah, whatever. Ugh, who let you back in here? My suspension's over now, Mark. And thanks for that, by the way. Hey, I did this all a favor. School was so much better without you here. Yeah, that's great. And leave me alone. Ugh, whatever. I don't like being around poor people anyway. Hi, Jacksoms. Oh, hey, Teacher Rufus. What's wrong, y'all? You look sad, and I know sad people all the time because I looks in the mirrors. Well, I was going to enter this comic book competition, but I'm out of paper in my sketchbook, and I don't have money to buy a new one, so I can't finish it. 
Oh, yes, you can. Take this sketchbook, y'all. It's mom's. Wow, thank you. You don't know what this means to me. I'll finish my comic tonight, and I'll enter that competition. You better, because you's like the best artist in this school, and I need you to win that competition, y'all, because I need some credits. Yeah, I will, I promise. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Hey, Dad. Jackson, what do you want? I'm working. I've got something I need to tell you. Can it wait? I just got this job, and I don't want to get in trouble. It's important, Dad. Eh, fine, make it quick. I entered the comic book competition. It's this weekend, and I want you to be there. Oh, okay. No, I have to work, and I can't just take it off for some stupid competition. It's not stupid. I told you we could win $1,000. Jackson, enough! You're not gonna win! You need to give up that stupid dream and get real! We might lose our house, and I need you to get a job and make some real money! You're not even thinking about your family! You're ungrateful, and I'm not going! And that's final! Fine! Thanks for your support, Dad. It means everything to me. Hey, what was that yelling? Oh, uh, sorry, boss. Can I see you in my office now? Uh, yes, sir. This is it, the comic book competition. I'm gonna win that thousand dollars. I just hope I didn't miss it. Okay, and that was second place. And now, the winner of the competition. First place goes to... Come on, pick me, pick me. Mark Rich Guy! What? No. Here is your thousand dollars. Aren't you gonna congratulate me, Jackson? I won! Get lost, dude, you're the worst. <laughs> I know. <laughs> This sucks. I wanted to win so bad. And I needed that money. He didn't. Ugh. Hey, are you Jackson? Yeah, that's me. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, here's your comic and congrats. Congrats? On what? Uh, you won second place. Uh, did you hear me? What? Oh, no. Uh, I just missed it. Um, thanks. Thanks a lot. Hey, hey, no sweat. Uh, enter again next year. Uh, maybe you'll win. Yeah, maybe I will. Second place. I mean, that's really good. But I needed to win first to get that money. My family really needs it. Excuse me, are you Jackson? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm Cash, publisher for Cash Comics. Whoa, yeah, I know your comics. They're really good. Ha ha ha, of course they are. That's why I want to buy yours. Wait, you've got to be kidding. I do not joke about money, Jackson. Your comic was incredible, on the level of what we expect at Cash Comics. I'll give you $5,000 for it right now. What do you say? $5,000? Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Excellent, excellent. Now, I think we need to be in touch. We could use some more of your work. Can I come by your office? I don't really have a phone. Ew, what are you? Just use that money and buy a phone, and then send me an email like a regular human. Uh, okay, I will. Yeah, yeah, good. Looking forward to it. I can't believe it. I just made $5,000. Sorry I'm late, man. Did you win? No, I didn't. Then what's with the cash? I just sold my first comic. Okay, this phone is kind of confusing. I've never had one before, but I bet I'll get the hang of it. You know, things are starting to change for the better. I'll give the rest of the money to Dad, and he'll be so happy. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, the day was good, sir. We got most of it, but we need to come back tomorrow. Hey, what the heck did you do? Oh, no, boss, I gotta go. Look, kid, I ain't got no dough for you, all right? Beat it. No, this is my home. What did you do? Oh, well, it ain't your home no more. The bank took it, and we're tearing it down. No, my dad, my brother, where did they go? I don't know, and I don't care. They ran away or something. Now go ask someone else for some money, you bum. They left without me? How could they do that? Oh, I've got to go find them. I've been looking everywhere for them, and I can't find Dad and Ethan. Oh my gosh, there they are. Dad, Ethan! Oh, I'm so happy I found you. Oh, really, Jackson? Are you happy? Yeah. I saw the house, and I was scared you might have been hurt. Yeah, we've been hurt by you. What do you mean? You got me fired from my job! What? Y you were fired? How is that my fault? My boss heard me yelling at you! I, I, I didn't do it on purpose. I sold my comic. Look, we've got money now. Yeah, yeah, look good that does us now without a house! Dad, stop! Wait! I, I'm sorry! Jackson, just, just let him be mad. It's going to be okay. 
Is it, Ethan? Clearly, Dad hates me now, and we're homeless. Dad doesn't hate you. He's just upset. And you're not upset? Of course I am. We're homeless now, but I'm proud that you sold your first comic. I, I told you not to give up. Yeah, I won't. And I'm going to fix this, Ethan. I promise. Jackson, glad you came by. Sorry I'm late, you know, ha, business stuff. Is there a problem? Yeah, there is. We don't have any more of your comics to sell. Your comic is our top seller right now. It's the best we've put out in years. Oh, that's incredible. I need you to make us some more. Just sign this contract and we'll get everything started. Contract? Yeah, it's just stupid legal business stuff, you know? Saying that we own your comics in case anyone tries to steal them, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna get 15% of everything you sell. Uh, okay, uh, here. Good, welcome to Cash Comics. Now, we need a new comic by the end of the week, and we need it to be a web comic. Web comic? Well, I only have a sketchbook. I don't have anything else to use, really. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why yours didn't win the competition and Mark's did. Mark drew his on something like this. Whoa, an iPad? That's right, and it's yours. Use it to draw and make us that comic. Oh, you've got it, Cash. Thank you. And buy yourself some new clothes, please. You look terrible. Come on, Tristan. We better not be late. Relax, dude. Mac won't care. I don't want to mess up this job. Come on, let's hurry. There you are, guys. You're five minutes late. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. It's not gonna happen again, I swear. Oh, dude, just chill. It's not that big of a deal. I was just worried, that's all. See, dude? Told you. Jackson, you're like the best comic book artist in town. I'm so lucky to have you working with me. Well, thanks, Mac. I appreciate it. Hey, Tristan, we got a ton of old Batman comics in. Can you go sort them out up back? You got it. Dude, you just need to chill, okay? Stop acting like I'm gonna fire you. I know, but this job just means a lot to me. My dad lost his job again, and, and we really need the money. Well, man, just keep up the good work, and everything's gonna be all right. And keep selling those comics. Hey, speaking of, are you working on anything new? Yeah, actually. I've got a brand new comic coming out this week. Aw, oh, sweet. I can't wait to read it. Okay, I'm sending you the new comic now. Got it. Great job again, Jackson. Well done. Thanks, and I promise I'll get you the second issue next week. Good! Do you have any idea how good we're doing? Your comics are going viral, which means the company is getting a lot of money! I'm thrilled! That's good to hear, Cash. I want to give you this. It's a little bonus for you. $10,000. Now don't spend it all in one place. $10,000? Oh, I won't. I promise. Thank you. So, what is this new comic about, huh? It's about a kid who finds out he has superpowers and- Okay, yeah, that's great. I've got a meeting in two minutes. You know your way out, don't you? Yeah, I do. I'll see you later. Whatever, just go on, go. Go, 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 have a good day. I wonder what I'm gonna do with all that money Cash gave me. Maybe I can buy a car so I don't have to take the bus anymore. Eh, uh, I don't know. Should probably just save it and give it to Dad. We need it for the rent money. Oh my gosh, wow, look at you, still poor, Jackson? Yeah, I am, and it looks like you're still a jerk. Anything else you need to say? I just signed a deal with Cash Comics too, and my comics are going to outsell yours tremendously. I doubt it, dude. There's nothing real about your comics. Everything's just fake. Looks like you traced it all. Here's what's real. I'm going to absolutely ruin you. Why? Tell me why you always pick on me. I'm sick of this. Um, let's see. Uh, because I'm better than you and you need to remember that. Ugh, great. So now I'm going to be competing with that jerk? Well then, challenge accepted, Mark. I'm not going to let you beat me again. Ugh, where's my iPad? I needed to do a lot of drawing today. Where could it be? Hey, Dad, have you seen my iPad? Jackson, I'm cooking breakfast here, okay? Leave me alone. Dad, my iPad, where is it? Oh, that stupid thing, yeah. I sold it. We need some food around here. We were running low. Dad, that has all my drawings on it. Do you have any idea what you just did? Yeah, I do. I'm trying to provide for this family. Yeah, well, I am too. And now I might get fired because of you. Oh, how the tables have turned, Mr. High and Mighty. Selling your scribbles and all of a sudden you think you can tell me what to do? Hey, what's going on, guys? 
dad sold my iPad. So now all of my drawings are gone. What happened to the money I gave you? It was almost $10,000. I had to pay the bills with it and there were late fees piled up. So it's all gone. Dad, that was a real stupid move. Selling Jackson's iPad? You know what? I'm not gonna stay around here and get yelled at by you too. I'm going for a walk. Ethan, finish breakfast. Dude, I am so sorry. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. You can figure it out, man. You can't lose your job. Dad just lost his again. He's always losing his job. Oh, this is just great. I need your help, dude. I can't afford this place on my own. I know. I'll figure something out. I promise. And there's no way you can get it back? No. He told me that he sold it to some weird guy named Eunice. I found him at the convenience store, but I guess he already sold it off for some cash. Oh, man. That really sucks. Well, what are you going to say to Cash when he asks you for your new comic? I don't know. Maybe I can ask him for an extension? He's not going to be happy, that's for sure. Ugh, look, dude. I'm going to head home for the night. I'll talk to you later. Sorry I can't help you, dude. Uh, good luck. Yeah, thanks. Where are we going, Mac? Are we going out to get something for the store? Uh, yeah, you could say that. The electronics store? What do we need here? Oh, you'll see. Hello, and welcome to the electronics store. What can I get for you? I'd like to buy the best iPad you have in the store. And make sure it comes with an Apple Pencil, too. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Coming right up. Oh. You're getting yourself an iPad? That's really nice. Nah, I'm not getting it for me. I'm getting it for you. What? You are? Yeah, dude. I heard everything last night. I know what you're going through because I basically went through the same thing. Before I started the comic shop, I had to struggle to get by. It was super tough. And I did it because my dad helped me open the store. Yeah, well, my dad just makes everything worse. Huh, sounds like it. But I'm here to help you, man. Don't worry about it. Here you go, sir. This is the best one we have. The ultimate storage and the Apple Pencil. Awesome. Give it to him. It's his now. Wow. Dude, thank you so much. I think you just saved everything. Oh, good. Keep making those comics and keep powering through hard times. You're going to make it, kid. I know it. So, Jackson, where's our new comic issue? It's due today. Uh, I, I have it right here. I hope you like it. I can't wait to start selling it. Your last issue did incredible. Did it outsell Mark's issue? <laughs> yeah, it did. His comic was good, but yours is much better. Our audience absolutely loves it. Good. You have no idea how much I needed to hear that. Now, I need to hear about our new comics. I want you to give me five brand new ones and give them to me by the end of next week. Five comics? That's a lot of work. And speaking of a lot of work, is there any way I could get a raise? Absolutely not. You signed a contract and you get what you get. Well, I want to renegotiate my contract. You're using me to make a ton of money and I barely get any of it. I get 15%. Maybe I should take my work somewhere else. This is becoming annoying. Your contract says I own you and all your work for the next 20 years. You can't work anywhere else. What? You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. It's in a contract that you signed. No raise for you. No negotiation. Now get out of my office. Dude, what's going on? It's really late. Are you just getting home? Yeah, I took a walk around town. I just needed to think. Are you okay? I'm not okay. I think I might get fired. What? No, you can't get fired. What did you do? Nothing. I just asked Cash to give me some more money since he wanted more work from me, but instead he threatened to fire me. No, that's not fair. Oh, Jackson, I'm so sorry. No, I'm the one that should be sorry. Why are you sorry? I don't make enough money working at the comic shop and if I get fired, I'm not going to have any other way to get more. Yes, you do. Keep making comics. Without a publishing company? Do you have any idea how hard that's going to be? I know you can do it, and it will be better for you to go alone anyway. That way, you can get all the money yourself. You know what? Maybe I should do that. It's not going to be easy, that's for sure. Clearly, our lives are not easy. Now go to bed. Think about making a new comment and show that loser cash what he's missing out on. <laughs> yeah, I know. It looks like I'm going to make another million next week. I'm so rich, it's stupid. Hey, Cash, I need to talk to you. I'll call you back later, Donovan. What do you want? I'm a very busy man. 
I want to let you know that I'm not making any more issues for you. I quit. You quit? Ha! Fine, I don't care. I already replaced you. Yeah, with me! Uh, of course it's you. I chose him because Mark can make issues just like yours, and he's not asking for more money. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to. I'm already rich. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Mark can draw, but he can't make a good comic. Uh, yes, I can. You know what? I'll show the both of you. I'm going to start my own publishing company, and I'm going to be a trillionaire. <laughs> oh my gosh, you really, you should be a comedian instead. You're nothing special, Jackson. Remember that. You can always be replaced. Now get out of my office! Gladly. So? How'd it go? Well, I quit, and I'm not working for Cash Comics anymore. I knew he was taking advantage of me. Well, you can work more hours at the store if you want. I mean, at least you got us. Thanks, Mac. And I probably will. I'm gonna need some money. But I also think I'm gonna start my own publishing company. That's sick, dude! Well, I'll help you any way I can. Yeah, for sure. And you can work out of the store if you want to, and I know some independent artists. Maybe they can help you too. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. There are gonna be a lot of obstacles in my way, and I could definitely use your help. I'm just gonna keep making good comics, ones that people love, and soon I'll be rich in no time. Oh, hold on a sec. Hey, this is Jackson. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 Ethan, slow down. Okay, I'll be right there. What's going on, dude? It's my dad. He's in the hospital. Dad? Dad! Ugh, Jackson? I'm here, Dad. What's going on? What's wrong? Dad is really sick, Jackson, and they don't know how much longer he has. Ah, stop crying. Life's not fair, kid. You know that. I'm really sorry, Dad. I'm sorry we fought so much and we didn't get along and- You know what? Just shut up, okay? I got something to say. <coughs> I'm sorry I didn't give you boys a good life. You did your best, Dad. Well, it wasn't good enough. It was good enough, Dad. I know things were tough, but look at us now. We're doing okay. Yeah, at least I raised two good kids. And I've got something really important to tell you. I quit my job and I'm gonna start my own publishing company. You quit your job? What the heck is wrong with you? I'm gonna keep making comics on my own, and this is gonna be good for us. I just wish you got a normal job like I wanted you to, but you never listen to me, Jackson. You always do your own thing. I know this is gonna work out, Dad. Please, trust me. Don't be mad. No, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed in you. I... Ugh. Dad? Dad? I can't believe he's actually gone. Doctor said he was sick for so long, and he never told us. Of course he didn't. He probably didn't want to upset us, like how I made him upset. I can't think like that, dude. How can I not? Our dad is dead, and he was disappointed in me. He was always disappointed in me. Listen, dad had a hard life, and he tried his best for us. He made mistakes. That's all it was. Yeah, I guess I get that from him, huh? Always making mistakes. You need to stop, dude. Quitting my job was a mistake. Maybe Dad was right. No, I don't think so. I think you should do what you told him you were going to do. And show him how successful you can be. Yeah, maybe I will. You know, I wanted to be a trillionaire so bad so I could take care of you and Dad. But now, I'm going to be a trillionaire for him instead. I'm going to make him proud of me. I know you will, dude. Goodbye, Dad. I'll miss you a lot. So, how's your new comic coming out, dude? It's almost done. I think this is gonna be a good one. Just like your last one. I think it might be the best-selling comic of all time. Well, at my store, at least. You accomplished so much in five months, dude. Your comics are selling like crazy, and now you got this new house? Wow, this place is really small and disgusting. What do you want, Cash? How did you even find my house? It doesn't matter. I came here to buy the entire comic series and the rights to it. I'll give you a million dollars for it. <laughs> yeah, the answer is no. What? No, I'm giving you a million dollars here. Do you know what that means? Yeah, I do know what it means. You're scared. My comic is outselling all of yours. Or should I say Mark's? And you're just scared that it's gonna be better than anything you'll ever put out. Well, maybe I am, and so what? I want that comic, and I always get what I want. Well, then you're gonna have to leave, because I'm not selling you my comic, and I'm not giving you any more money. 
You know what? Whatever. You're gonna regret this. That comic is gonna be mine one way or another. Hey, man, are you sure this is the right place? This is way too nice to be Jackson's house. Of course it is. Now get in there and get me that comic or else. Ugh, that's okay. This should be easy. Now all I need to do is break in the door. Sweet, okay, stupid Jackson. Where would that idiot put his iPad? Oh, let's see. Oh, this is too easy, just like I thought. Here you go, man. This should have everything you want on it. Excellent! Now, I'm gonna publish this comic so I can make it my own! <laughs> Alright! Can you say I drew it? Yeah, whatever. Literally no one cares about you. All I care about is making money. And this is going to make me a fortune! <laughs> please, please tell me this isn't true. Sorry, man, but it's true. Cash Comics came out with a brand new series last night, and it's literally the comic you were working on. They must have stolen my iPad and just took it from me. That's why it was missing again this morning. What are you gonna do now? This new comic is already trending online. Well, I'm not gonna let this stop me, that's for sure. I'm gonna make a new comic and launch it as soon as I can. Dude, people are loving this new comic. It's better than the last, and it's trending higher than that cash ripoff. Yeah, of course it is, because it's actually the real thing. Yeah, man, that's what people are saying. Oh my gosh, you just got an email from Timmy Talents. Wait, hold up. That's the big Hollywood agent, right? Yeah, dude, he wants to make a movie out of your comic series. Oh my gosh, Tristan, it's happening, dude. This is actually happening. Donovan, if you don't find me some more money, I swear I'm gonna lose it! Hey, Cash! How's my comic doing? Is it awesome or what? Come on, tell me. You can tell me. Actually, it's a total flop. Everyone can tell it's Jackson's work, not yours. <laughs> of course they can. My work is better, obviously. No, actually it's not. It's hot garbage. Uh, whatever. I'll just put up ChatGPT and I can just make another comic. No, you can't. The company is out of money. I'm ruined! It's all because of you! You're a total failure as an artist and you're pathetic! What? But you told me I was awesome! I'm Mark! Well, I lied. It's what I do. Now get out of my office, you're fired! You can't do this to me! Oh, yes I can, and honestly, I don't care. If you can't make me a winning comic, you're worthless to me! Now get out! Yeah, dude, this is crazy. Timmy Talents made me the best deal for my comic, and they're gonna make a movie and a video game out of it, and I get action figures and all that crazy stuff. And you're like a billionaire now. Yeah, I am, but I'm so close to being a trillionaire, I, I can see it. What I can't see is what we're doing here. Where are we? You don't remember? Dude, this is our old house. This is where we used to live. Oh yeah, I didn't recognize it. So why did you bring me here again? Well, I have something to tell you. I'm reinvesting some of my money into this whole part of the city. People struggle so much just to get by, and that's why I want to reinvest my money into the people here, to give them a chance at a better life. Well, dude, that's crazy, but I think it's a good idea. Oh, Jackson, I'm so proud of you, man. Thanks, dude. I just wish Dad was proud of me, too. I think he will be. Don't worry. I know he loves you. I'm glad you like this idea. And hey, do you want to come to the movie set with me tomorrow? They're going to be filming soon, and I need to do some final checks. I want you to be there. Of course, man. I'll always be there for you. So, what do you think, Jackson? This is awesome. This is just how I pictured it in my head. Good, because I'm here to see your vision come to reality. I'm going to make you a star. Dude, I just got a notification. Oh my gosh, you officially made one trillion dollars. Oh, I actually did it. I made that dream of mine come true. See, I told you, dude. So, can I see the sketches of the costume you were making? Oh, yeah, yeah, here. Check it out. Woohoohoo! This looks incredible. I love it. Well, I hate it. Ow, my leg! Mark, how did you even get on the set? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm gonna steal this stuff and make my own movie. And I'm gonna be a trillionaire like it's supposed to be. No, you're not. That's where you're wrong, Mark. And you're gonna pay for it. But I don't have any money. I got fired. Wow, look who's poor now. Oh. Get back!
back here, poor! You're in serious Yo, trouble! leave me alone! This neighborhood is for rich people, not people like you! Get out of here, you smell like trash! What's wrong with this guy? I never- ah! Oh, man. Oh, a dollar. This is exactly the luck that I needed. I'm gonna turn this dollar into a trillion dollars. Oh, man. I'm in a lot of pain, though. Hey, yo! Yeah, hey. Look, can you call me an ambulance? I, I think I'm hurt. You attacked my Tesla! You monster! What? I didn't attack your Tesla. Liar! Get out of here! You're ruining this place! This dollar is gonna make me a trillionaire. And you'll all see. I know it's just one dollar, but it's the most money I've had in weeks. I think my luck's gonna start to change. I'm gonna make some serious moves. Oh, jeez. I didn't even think about this. I gotta get out of here before the rich people call the cops on me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses, bub. What's wrong? It's two dollars to ride the bus. You don't look like you got a penny. Man, man, man. I, need I need to, to save, save this dollar. dollar. Look, I only have a dollar, but I need it. Please, can I just... I just have to get home. I gotta get on the other side of the city. <laughs> hey, what the heck? Shut up! You don't have a home! Get a job and stop being a poor loser! I just fell on hard times, but it's gonna get better. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. Look who it is! No, look, Finkleberry, I didn't do anything! Do you think I'm stupid? Uh, yeah, kind of. Shut up! You're in trouble, mister, being in the rich neighborhood. You know the rules. No porgies allowed in here. It's not a crime. I don't care. Your face is a crime. You're coming with no, me. No, I don't think what? so, Fartberry. No, I'm out of here. stop running! I hate running! No! I'm gonna get you! Ha ha ha! Oh, man. Glad Finkleberry can't run to save his life. I should be safe from those mean rich people now. Lucky as I am to have this dollar, there's not a whole lot I can buy with it. I haven't had money since that flood that destroyed my town. I'm so hungry. Hey, stop talking to yourself. You scared away my customers. Dude, why don't you shut up? You're so mean. What are you talking about? There's no one here. Yeah, well, uh, you can't be here. If you ain't got no money to buy nothing, you better get out. Yeah, well, this dollar could be an opportunity for me to make more money. I still love cooking. I want to be a chef someday. Hey, how much is this stuff over here? Yeah, that junk? Eh, no one wants it. You can have it for a dollar if you really want it. Great, give me that food then. Fine, whatever. Just get out of my store. You're stinking up the place. Ugh. This is great. I can't wait to open a food stand with this money. Oh, man, hopefully someone buys this stuff. Worked really hard. Hey, what are you selling? It's my family's recipe. It's my favorite soup. Uh, it smells really good. I'd like to try it. How much? A dollar a bowl. A dollar? <laughs> yeah, sure. Here. Whoa. This is the best soup I've ever had. Wow, this is amazing. Did you really make this? Thanks. Yeah, I, I want to expand my business, but this is all I could afford to do right now. Hold on a second. Let me text my friends. They've got to try this. Well, sorry, everyone. I'm officially sold out. Oh, uh, come on, man. Oh, I wanted more. You've got a lot of potential with this stuff, Shane. I could see this soup being served in like a five-star restaurant. I have friends that are influencers, and they're posting about it right now. Well, thanks, Tony. I made 25 bucks today. I'm so excited. 25 bucks? That's not a lot of money, but I guess it's a start. It's a lot of money to me. Someday I'll have more money than this. I'm gonna be a trillionaire. This is just the start. Yeah, keep at it. I'd love to help you if I can. If you need me for anything, dude, just let me know. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, man. $25. I'm still excited. I made this much. I can't believe it. I knew I could turn this dollar into more money. And this is the first step to a brand new life. Man, I just miss my family so much. I wish they were here to see this. They all died in that flood. I wish that I could have them back. I want to make them proud. I want to make sure that no one has to go hungry or live on the streets again. And this little bit of money, it's going to start everything. I, uh, I heard you have some money. Give it to me, idiot! No, man. Worked hard for that. Just leave me alone. Worked hard? Oh, you're a sucker. All I have to do is rob people. It's easier. It's a terrible way to live and treat people. Well, I don't care what you have to say. Give me your money. No! Oh. Ah! Yeah, thanks for the hard work, loser. <laughs> Gosh, why? Can't let this set me back. I have to become a trillionaire. Gosh, man. And I got no more money to buy food. Means I can't make any more food to sell. I'm not gonna have any money. Think, Shane. What am I gonna do? Hey, Shane. What's on the menu for today, dude? Oh, it's gonna be burgers, but I have to close down, man. Close down? What? Why? 
got robbed last night. I've got no money. I lost everything. Can't buy more food. Oh, man, that's awful. I'm so sorry. Well, I guess maybe I can try to find a job or something. I need to get some more money to reinvest in my stand, but no one wants to hire me. All these rich people are so mean around here. Hmm. You know, I'm always interested in making investments. Hey, if I gave you $100, you think you could turn it into 1000 Oh, yeah, I definitely could. I mean, obviously, I'd need 100 bucks, but I think I could do it. Well, here, turn this into $1,000. Just pay me back 500 and the rest is yours. Wait, dude, are you serious? This is too much. No, I'm absolutely serious. I think you can do this easily. I have faith in you, Shane. The most money I've had at one time in so long. Thank you, Tony. I, I won't let you down, man. Well, that's all for our interview with Shane, the city's newest and biggest food stand sensation. Wow, thanks for the interview. Anytime. Thanks for a great news segment. I might get a promotion for this. Sports segment, here I come. What the heck do you think you're doing here? Uh, I'm selling food to people, and it makes everyone happy. You want some? Ew, no. Terry Richmond doesn't eat trashy food off the streets, and I don't need any smelly bums trying to sell food at this park. I'm invested in all local restaurants, but not this one. I won't stand for people messing with my business. Well, this is public property, so I can kind of do whatever I want here. Hold on, give me one second. What are you doing, man? Um, hello? I'm on the phone? Rude. Donovan? Yes, I want it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I own the park now, so everyone needs to leave. What? No way, you can't do this. I'm Terry Richmond, and I can do whatever I want. This park is now going to be called Richmond Park, and you have to pay $20,000 to even enter. That's ridiculous. No, oh, you can't do yeah, this. Yeah, you suck. Shut up. I don't care what you think. You're all poor. Leave my park or get arrested. See if I care. Welcome to the junkyard, home of junk and uh, stuff. What, what do you want? Hey, man, I saw that you might have a food truck for sale. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on a second. Aren't you that homeless guy that cooks or something? Uh, yeah, that's me. Yeah, I knew I recognized you. I saw you on the news last night. I got a food truck you can buy. $5,000. Hmm, that's a good amount of my money, but... I think I can do it. Are you lying to me right now? You pulling my chain here? Oh, dude, I've got the money. Wow, you're surprised. You look like you got seven cents to your name. Hey, that's a weird thing to say. You shouldn't judge people like that, dude. Just give me the 5K and you can have this stupid truck. Get it off my junkyard. All right, cool, whatever, man. Here you go. Cool. Get it off my property in five minutes or I'm keeping it. All right, dude, calm down. This is gonna be great. I can't wait to sell more food. Spent all my money on this truck, but by the looks of this crowd, I should be able to make $5,000 back just a day. Yo, food's gonna be ready soon, everyone. Officer, this man is operating in my park without a permit. No, oh, actually, I looked it up. I'm allowed to be here for three days without one. You're a liar. A poor, good-for-nothing liar. And you're trying to ruin my businesses. I have a lot invested in this city. And this homeless loser thinks he can just start a business without cutting me in? I don't think so. Not on my watch. Which is a Rolex, by the well, way. Well, he's allowed to start his own business, you know. He doesn't need your permission. And he's right. He has three days before we can do anything. Uh, you're useless and poor, just like everyone else. Hey, man, don't listen to Terry. Have some food on me. Whoa, this is the best burger I've ever had. Look, Shane isn't breaking any laws, so there's nothing I can do. You should buy some of this food, though. It's really good. I'm going to destroy you. You're not going to come into this city and be more successful than me. No one is. Yes, I will. I'm going to be a trillionaire someday. I'll have more money than you. And there'll be nothing you can do about it. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Ew, out of my way, poor. Get out of the way. Whoa, I never thought I'd be back here delivering food to one of these houses. These aren't even houses, they're mansions. <laughs> I can't believe that poor loser fell for this. No one wants his trash food, especially not in this neighborhood. <laughs> this is going to teach this dumb loser. No one messes with Terry Richman. Ha! And boom! Ha ha! Goodbye, food truck. And goodbye, stupid, poor, pathetic shame. Oh, weird. I guess I must have had the wrong address. What the? No, 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 no. My food truck. No! 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 Yes, the truck was fine one minute, the next it was on fire, Fartberry. Listen, idiot. Trucks don't just catch on fire, okay? This is reality, idiot. Well, I'm telling you that's what happened. Believe me or don't, it's the truth. I know the truth. 
You were the one who set fire to your own truck for the insurance money. That doesn't make any sense, Finkleberry. I was making more money than my insurance would have paid me back in one day. I would never do that. I don't even have insurance. You don't even have insurance? Wow, you really are stupid, huh? You need insurance if you're going to commit insurance fraud. I'm not trying to create more crimes. I'm trying to make a business. Dude, get out of my police station. Oh, gosh, Finkleberry is ridiculous. Excuse me, are you Shine? Yeah, man. Who are you? Otto Van Do, multi-billionaire business mogul. I'm sure you've heard of me, and I heard what happened to your truck. I'm here to offer you a deal. Uh, okay, what is it? I'll pay you $100,000 to cook at my exclusive party. It's an excellent opportunity to get to know some of my friends as well. I've known some very influential people with very deep bank accounts. Whoa, $100,000? Yeah, man, I'm there. Thank you. Oh, dude, your home is beautiful, Otto. Y'all, great, thanks. You're a little underdressed, but uh, I guess this will do. Are you ready to cook? Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Follow me. I'll show you to the kitchen. Otto! Incredible party as always, my old friend. <laughs> uh, I'm curious. Why didn't you use my catering business? You've always booked my business for your parties. Because they're all terrible, Terry. I figured I'd hire someone that makes food with excellent taste. What? This homeless man is cooking all your food? I'm not homeless. Even if I was, who cares? You should just try some of my food before judging it, man. Yeah, Terry. Hey, have some. Oh my gosh, this food's amazing. Excellent job, Shane. Yeah, if you like cafeteria food. Oh! Shut up, Terry! No one likes you! This isn't over, you know that? Here you go, Shane, as promised. Here's your money. Thanks for the opportunity, Otto. Please keep me in mind for the future. Uh, trust me, I will. This is the most money I've ever had in my whole life. Getting closer to becoming a trillionaire. I'm gonna make a real difference. This is gonna be great! I don't know. Do you really think this is gonna work? This is the right move. I want to become a trillionaire, and I believe in this business model. It's time we expand. Yeah, I think it's time too. It's a good idea. So you think you're gonna embarrass me in front of everybody like you did? Do you have any idea who was at that party last night? Elon Musk was there! Elon! And he laughed in my face! You embarrassed yourself, Terry. Not my fault. Yeah, get out of here, Terry. Mind your own business. You started taking business from me, and I don't like it. I take my business seriously, unlike you pathetic trash heaps. Well, then maybe you should be better at business. Stop expecting people to like your food when you're not offering them anything good. You don't care about people. That's your problem. Yeah, dude, and your food is overpriced garbage. It actually kind of suits you. I'm just the money man. I invest. I don't actually make the food or do anything. That's for poor people like you two. And since you keep being annoying, I'll give you a million dollars right now for your business. Oh. oh. Hey, hold on, dude. That's a million dollars. I know he sucks, but... No, I don't care. The answer is no. I want to be a trillionaire someday, and I want to earn it myself. Plus, I worked hard for what I have. I'm not going to give it to you so you can ruin it. You're saying no? Oh, you're an idiot. You'll lose one way or another, and there's no way you'll be a trillionaire. Shane, you were right. We made a million dollars this week alone. Buying more trucks was definitely the right move. No, I'm glad it's working out. We have 30 trucks now all over the city, and soon we'll have them in other cities too. Yeah, look, there's one outside right now. This is really cool. I think I was homeless not that long ago, and we built this together. You should be proud of yourself, dude. Not many people can say they've done something like this. Proud, but I'm not done yet. This is only the beginning. Okay, so what do you want to do next? You need to open up actual restaurants and create lines of food for people to buy from grocery stores. Maybe cookware, spices, sauces. Whoa, whoa, hey, this is really ambitious. I know it is, but I'm not scared. I've already lost all the important things in my life. Now I want to accomplish my goal. I also think we could use our earnings to help the community. I completely agree. Well, let's start there. I want to start making a change in people's lives, and I think we can start that now. Thank you for coming, everyone. This food truck will provide free food for anyone who needs it. I know what it's like to be homeless and go for days without food. 
And I don't want anyone to have to feel that way again. Wow, thanks, Shane. This is incredible. No problem. It wasn't that long ago that you helped me when I was living on these streets. I was cold and you gave me an extra blanket, remember? During that really hard winter? Wait, wait. You remember that? Of course I do. I wouldn't be where I am without you. I probably would have froze to death. Oh, well, I'm just glad I could help. I want to help more too. If anyone wants to earn some money, I can find jobs for you all, no problem. Oh, I'd love a job. Yeah, thank you. No one ever wants to take a chance on us. I cannot believe this is happening. You're opening a business near one of my properties? Unacceptable. A property. All these old buildings and all this stuff, this is all mine. Mine! Well, the street isn't yours. Plus, this place is free. I'm just helping everyone out. Who cares about that? I do. You should care about people, too. I care about people that make me money, not these people. How can you get mad at me for helping a homeless person? Are you seriously that miserable of a person? I don't know. I just hate you. It seems to be the best way to expand instead of buying more food trucks. You're right. It's way more efficient. You think a real restaurant in a brand new city. This is going to be incredible. Oh! No, no, you gotta close this place down, man. You can't be doing this over here. Eunice? That's right. And what's the big idea, huh? You think you can just open a restaurant next to my fine eating establishment? No way, man. Well, actually, we can't. Well, actually, you can shut up. And I'll put you out of business if it's the last thing I do. Oh, great. Okay, look, we're not trying to put you out of business, Eunice. Well, you are, and you should listen better. Man, your food isn't very good. You're kind of mean to everybody. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, man, that's because I'm Eunice. And just get out of my way. Terry and I are going to bury you. <laughs> that guy works with Terry? <laughs> figures not worried about them i've had their food and it's terrible plus they don't care about people like that he's super mean all the time they're just jealous because i'm getting richer than terry now you know you might actually become a trillionaire any day now i will this guy makes me mad man me too their restaurant isn't even open yet i was thinking we should go in and mess with it yeah dude maybe we can break some stuff <laughs> I love breaking stuff. Well, I happen to know they have a health inspection coming tomorrow. I already got the tip from the guy at City Hall. Wow, you know someone at City Hall? Obviously, Eunice. Why do you think you keep passing health inspections? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go show this idiot who's boss now. Now it's time we show the health inspector how disgusting and gross this place is. We've got to make them fail miserably. I already farted. It smells so bad. No, no, Eunice, you're the worst. We have to do more than that. Yeah, I know. Well, now let's trash this place so I can get out of here. I got a bunion the size of a golf ball, man. And I need to sand it off the bottom of my foot. That is absolutely terrifying. And you are absolutely right. <laughs> Let's trash this place. All right. Now let the master of trash show you how it's done. Yo, what's up, dude? Are you joking with me right now? What are you talking about, man? Dude, this place is disgusting. You literally have trash everywhere. There's toxic waste on the floor. I don't. That place was spotless yesterday. I cleaned it myself. Lies. You're getting an F. And honestly, this place should be condemned right now. The worst place I've ever seen in my life. You should be ashamed of yourself. Terrible excuse for a business owner. I don't believe it. I've had enough of you, man. No, something isn't right. I'm telling you. What the heck? This place is totally trashed and... Oh, that smell. Man, I know Terry was behind this. It had to have been. This is low, even for him. Now I gotta fix this mess. Man, I'm sorry to hear about your new restaurant being shut down. Such a shame. No, it's not right. We run our business legit and to the highest standard. Now, no city outside of here is going to listen to us. Like, no one wants our business anymore. Otto, look, man. You're powerful, influential. Could you use your connections to help us expand into new areas? We really use your help right now. I mean, I'd love to help, but your credibility's damaged. It'd be a big thing for me to endorse you. I'm putting my own reputation on the line here. Look, you've watched me cook. I've had my food like a million times. You know I'm not doing any of these things that the health inspector said. It was Terry. Yeah, I guess you're right. 
I mean, his restaurants do suck. I believe in you. Like when you were that underdressed kid at my party. I mean, your outfit was tragic. But I'll put the word out and I'll endorse your business, Shane. You'll never regret backing us, Otto. I promise you that. Thanks again, Otto. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Now you boys got a lot of work to do. And I've got a flight to Paris to get on. So, like, don't let me down. All that hassle. Opening night's finally here. I can't believe we actually made it this far. In no time, we'll be trillionaires. Just wait, Tony. Help, help! Oh, please help me! You again. I know you're up to something, Eunice. I need help! You need to leave. Now, come on, Eunice, let's no, go. No, I've been poisoned! Don't eat the food, everyone! It's poison! He's lying. He's just trying to sabotage our restaurant. I don't know. I don't really want to eat poisoned food. Yeah, this place sucks. I hate it here. I want to go home. You lose, you bum. <laughs> just leave. You think sabotaging my opening night is funny? Yeah, yeah, I do. You admit it, you were lying. Of course I'm lying, that's what I do. Not really poison, man. Look at me, I'm great. Well, it didn't work. I don't care. Terry paid me half a million dollars just to mess with you. Of course he did. I'm gonna beat Terry. I'm gonna be way more successful than him and he's gonna hate it. Not as much as he hates you. He hates you a lot, man. Talks about it all the time. Kind of annoying, honestly. How much did he pay for this restaurant? He paid me one million dollars. <laughs> Can you believe it? Seriously, for this place? Hey, I provide my customers terrible food in a terrible atmosphere. That don't come cheap. All right, look, here's what I'm gonna do. I'll give you $1.5 million for it right now. But you have to buy Terry out. Sure, fine, give me the money, man. Here you go. Tell Terry I own this place now. Oh, yeah, I'm rich, man. Yeah, you're also fired. Get out of here. Oh, what the heck, dude? Go, Eunice. Fine, whatever. If Terry wants to destroy my business, then I'll just buy his too. Now I can fix this place up and just start over. Jane. Buying Terry and Eunice's restaurant was actually a really smart move. Now we've got two completely different brands. And guess what? We're about to open restaurants from your first concept too. Oh, and uh, by the way, you just made your first billion dollars. Oh, my first billion? That's one step closer to my goal. Word on the street is you're a billionaire now. Yeah, I guess I am. Well, if it wasn't for my restaurant investment, you'd be nowhere. What are you talking about? I bought you out and invested more than you ever did. Plus you ran that place into the ground because you didn't care about your customers. I still don't care, but I won't let you be richer than me. Well, you'll have to deal with it, Terry. Besides, there's more to life than money. Wealth shouldn't even matter in the first place. Well, it matters to me more than anything. These restaurants suck. Don't eat here. The food is trash. Shut up, you crazy old man. The food's the best. There are too many poor people around here for my liking anyways. Can't believe it. We got everything rebuilt. I knew giving back to where I came from would be great for this community. Shane. Martin. Wow, man, look at you. Yeah, I clean up pretty good, huh? Just wanted to say, thank you for everything you've done for us. Of course. I wanted to prove that with hard work and a little help, anyone can bounce back. And if it wasn't for you offering us all places to work at your restaurants and food trucks, we'd never be here. Don't worry about it. I'm just happy everyone's doing well. This is what it's all about, giving back and making a difference. Everybody here owes you the world. Some of us felt lost, hopeless, forgotten about. But you came back. And with your help, we all came a long way. We all just want to say thank you. No one owes me anything. Not even a thank you. Like I said, if it wasn't for you, I probably would have died out here. If anything, I owe you all more. I'll be forever grateful for all you guys. And it doesn't end here. Opportunities are going to keep coming. But this is my office building! Mm, sir, there's nothing else I can do. My hands are tied. I, I know I'm late on payments, okay? I just need like another day or two. You never paid us for this building. You keep missing your payments. It's too late. But I, I need to run my business. How am I supposed to do that without an office? Not our problem. We have someone who's going to take it off of our hands. Take it up with him. You? No. No, how is this possible? A homeless idiot bought my building? You don't have that kind of money. This is outrageous. Relax. I actually came here to offer you something. What? What could you have to offer me that I'd be remotely interested in? Oh, well, I thought I'd do you a favor and let you keep using the office. You gotta learn how to be friends, man. Be friends? I don't want any favors from you, and I don't want your pity or your handouts. And I definitely don't want to be your friend. Fine, I'll keep it then. 
I expect you out by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Wait, wait hold on. What? No! It's incredible how much money we've made over these past months. According to these financial reports, we're getting close to half a trillion dollars now. We have more money than we'll ever be able to spend. So, speaking of, what do you think our next move should be? I mean, you're always the man with the plan, so what do you have in mind? Still want to give back more to the community and help them. I agree. There's so much more we could be doing. And that'd be a great thing for everybody. What do you plan to do with the money? I'm going to start a program with our restaurants to help the homeless across the country. That's a big ambition. A big challenge. Well, it'll be worth it. Trust me. I've got some big ideas. And now that I have this money, I can make it happen. And the reward is always worth the challenge. So, you know I'm ready for this. I think it's perfect. I'll take it. Really? What are you going to do with it? I plan on using it to help homeless people get back on their feet. I was once like them before someone helped me out. Everyone needs help sometimes. Who knows what these people could become if we just give them a chance. Whatever you say, weirdo. Here's the permit. Congratulations or something. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, could you please uh, go? Yeah, with pleasure. Say, if I said I needed help with like, I don't know, I need like 20 million dollars. Just go, dude. Shane! Shane! Stop right there! Stop! What's up, Terry? Did you reconsider my deal at the old office building? You cost me everything! I lost my business because of you! I'm a total failure now! And they even took away my yacht club membership! And my yacht! Not my fault, your businesses are failing. Yes, it is! My life was perfect until you showed up! And now it's falling apart! Look, I'm offering you a chance to save your business. We could split profits, and you could even buy that building back from me. You must take me for a fool, don't you? Never! I will never take help from you! Alright, man, suit yourself. Good luck with everything. Ugh, I'll find a way to get back at you, Shane! This is your fault, and you're going to pay! Quite a view, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. I can't believe you bought this entire building. I know. We have so many businesses now. I'm almost a trillionaire. I believe you'll be there soon. I bet you'll be a trillionaire in a week. What the heck is that? Uh, Shane, is that your car? What is he doing? Terry, ah, ah, ah. stop! What's going on? I'm broke! I lost everything now! Some stupid homeless loser like you gets all of it? No! I worked for all of this, Terry. You could have too. You could have been my friend, but you turned me down and you made your own choices. I will never be your friend. And I'll, I'll be on top again. You'll see. I'll have so much money and I'll own your company in a year. Yeah, man, that's not going to happen. But, you know, if you need help, I'm here to help you change. I'm not changing anything. I'm perfect. Ow! Wake, wake up, up sir. sir! Hey, wake, wake up. up! Oh, man, my head. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. What happened? Where's Terry? Ah, don't worry. We got him. Your friend Tony called us and we caught him attacking your car. You want to press charges? No. No? Look, I understand why he's upset. Hopefully this is a lesson for him that he shouldn't just expect the world to owe him something. That's a weird call. I guess I get it. Shane, you can't be serious. After everything he's done, he deserves it. Bury this guy. Make him feel the pain. I already did. What do you think? I've got lots of people that are interested, but I know you'll do good things with the property. You've got a deal. Here's a hundred billion dollars. This is all my money. What an incredible business opportunity. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. This is crazy amount of money. I'm going to go take this check to the bank. Wow, this is a big one. I'll deposit this right away for you, sir. Oh my gosh! Holy sweet potatoes! Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. It's more than okay. You're like a trillionaire officially. I can't believe it. I really did it. You know what? Let's celebrate. I want you to send a million dollars to every single person in this town. Are you sure? Really? Yeah, come on. Send the money. I want to help everyone out. Please, sir. I just need some more time. No, get out of here. Take this stupid penny. This is really all I have. Cause that's all your piece of garbage land is worth anyway. The construction company is going to be here soon. But this is my home. Yeah, well, I don't care, all right? Good luck with that stupid penny. I'll turn this penny into a trillion dollars. I'll do it and I'll buy this land back myself. You'll see. I'll be here waiting in my newly owned mall. Good luck, loser. Now, security, get him out of here. Ha, I'm the security guard now. You got to go, y'all. Fine. That's right. Okay, walk this way. Yes. <laughs>
I have to say goodbye to everything I have. I've had it rough my whole life. My parents were gone when I was young and I was left to fend for myself on the streets. It wasn't all bad. I mean, I met the love of my life, Natalie. And we just had our beautiful baby boy. But the bank is coming after the land. And all I have left is this penny. This is our last chance. So Harry, were you able to get the bank to back off? I tried my best, but I couldn't. Wait, what? So they're just gonna take the land? We're gonna lose everything! Our shack, the little clothes that we have, this beautiful land, and everything we just bought for the new baby? It's gonna be gone! I know, we've lived here for years, and I don't want to leave. We have to think about what's best for James. Well, I don't think being homeless is gonna be good for anyone, especially James. Look, I've got this, okay? Natalie, you've trusted me your whole life, and I just need to trust me again. Look at this. A penny? What does that have to do with anything? It's not gonna get us anywhere. I'm gonna turn this around, and I'm gonna build us a bigger, better life. A bigger house, a huge bank account, all of it, anything you want. Yeah, okay, I don't know about this. I'm gonna make this work, I promise. Well, we should probably start packing our things. I'll be right there. All of this is gonna be for them. I'm gonna make this work, and I think I know someone that'll help me. Where is Frank? He said he'd be here by now. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late, Harry. Time slipped by. Uh, it's all right, man. I'm actually just happy to see you. Yeah, um, hey, Harry, you know, you really shouldn't be here, man. Yeah, but I need to talk to you. I think I need your help. All right, just, just make it quick. Look, I'm gonna turn this penny into a fortune, and you're the only friend I have, and you work for the bank. You can help me with this. Um, look, I, I, I really want to help. Like, it sounds like a great idea and all. Frank, you and I have been friends since we were in that orphanage together. My oldest friend should be more than willing to help me. Yeah, but, you know, we all have our own problems to face. I'm kind of dealing with mine right now, you know? Frank, are you all right? You look a little uneasy. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Dude, I know you. You're not fine. What's bothering you? Frank, what are you doing out here? Get back to work. Yes, sir. Oh, and you, you're here. <laughs> what? You gonna go back home, huh? You out on the streets? Do you sleep well at night knowing you're this mean to people? Yeah, I do in my luxury bed. What do you sleep at on a cardboard down the street in an alleyway? Look, I make more money selling that entire house for scrap metal more than you would in a year. Hey, don't talk about my house like that. I worked hard for it. No, because guess what? Once I have the rest of your land, I'll make it 10 times better than it was before. It looks like your own family can't even depend on you. Don't you dare talk about my family. You are a jerk. I guess this was nothing but a waste of time. Later, loser. I heard there's some extra cardboard in the dumpster to the left. Oh, man. That pizza smells so good. I could really use some food. I'm so hungry. But I can't buy it with this penny. I've got to find a way to turn this into more money. Oh, I'm sorry, citizens. I wasn't walking where I was watching, y'all. Hold on a second. Hi, I know you, y'all. Yeah, I've seen you before, too. You were the security guard that kicked me out of the bank. Yes, and you was that wild man's talking about turning a penums into a trillion dollars, y'all. Oh, my goodness, have you done it yet? Uh, no, not yet. Well, you got to do it, y'all. That sounds like fun. I know, and I need to do it. I need to make my wife proud of me. I need to stick up to the bank. They're going to take my land and take everything I have. Well, it sounds as though you was in an in Impossible situations. Yeah, it does sound kind of impossible, doesn't it? Well, I mean, when I is in impossible situations, I go talk to my squirm friends. What? That's right, I got squirm friends. Come on, I'll show you, y'all. See, this be my friends, Mr. Squirms. Hi, Mr. Squirms. He says hi, y'all. All right, this is all fun and stuff. But listen, I can't keep wasting time like this. Officer Rufus. Oh, hi there. Can I feed your squirrel friend? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all, but accidentally, I don't have any squirm food, and Mr. Squirm is on a diet. <laughs> yes, you is, Mr. Squirm. I'd wish someone could make some nice squirm food for my frams, but seems as though all that eats is acorns, y'all. You need some, like... Food for your squirrel friend? Yes, that would be nice. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's my first idea. All right, everybody, here it is. Revolutionary, the first ever squirrel food. We're calling it squirrel chow. Okay, I'm gonna buy everything you have. I has a lot of squirrel to feed, y'all. Really, you wanna buy it? Yes, and I also want to work with you because this seems like fums. Here, I has lots of munums. You can have this. Whoa, no way, this is awesome. Step one, complete. Look, lady, I'm just doing my job, all right? No. No, this is my home. You need to go. Actually, you're the one that needs to go. Word is the bank boss is making a move on this property. But there's a baby inside. There are people that live here. 
Please, sir, give us a chance. We'll get this land back. We'll have enough money to buy the land from the bank. I just need some time. Yeah, I need some time, too. But you don't see me crying about it. Sir, my life is here. My wife, my child, just have some compassion, some empathy. Yeah, it does kind of stink, you know, kicking you out on the streets and making you all homeless and stuff. But if the sale goes through, my hands are tied. I'm tearing everything down and I'm putting them all up. That is what it is. No, sir, get back here, please. No. <laughs> Natalie, don't worry. I have some good news. Well, what is it? We could sure use some good news right now. I worked on that squirrel chow business, and I think we're making moves. I got some serious money off of this already. Well, that's good, but we have to hurry. We don't have much time. We're going to be on the streets forever. We won't be, I promise. I can feel it. That trillion dollars is coming our way. Man, these cars are so beautiful. I always dreamed about having one of these. You know what, Harry? You're gonna get a car, and you'll make it happen. Y'all, listen, sir. We had a new rule, like, placed three months ago. No more homeless people in the showroom, please. Hey, you can't talk to me like that. I'm not homeless. Y'all, well, you look like it, so that's what I'm gonna believe. What do you want, man? I'm wondering, how much is it to buy this place? <laughs> Do you want to buy the dealership? Yeah, I do. You think this will cover it? Oh, man. Where'd you get that? Did you steal it off from someone? No, I did not. I actually worked hard and earned this money myself. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Chot, well, I am. And guess what? I'm never going to sell you this dealership. Not in a million years. All right, guys. What's all the commotion over here? Chot, Mr. Sir Manager, sir. This guy just walked in and he's trying to buy the dealership. I told him no. Ugh, Randy, just shut up, okay? Your voice is literally... The the most annoying thing I've ever heard. Look, sir, I'm looking here to buy the dealership and I can give a cash offer. Whoa, look at all that money. <laughs> I haven't had a cash deal on this place in years. You've got a deal. No, but sir, like we shouldn't do that, man. Randy, what did I say? Shut up. Now money talks. <laughs> so you're the owner now, sir. Uh, what, what did I call you, by the way? Uh, you can just call me Harry. All right, Harry, excellent. You're the new boss. Well, I'm never gonna work for someone like him. Well, if you don't feel like working for me, you're more than welcome to leave. Child, whatever. You're probably just gonna run this business to the ground anyway. I'm out of here. All right. Step one is done, and now step two. I'm really making moves now. Yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm I'm known in the world to be the biggest land mogul of all time, man. Uh-huh, yeah. Hey, I'm being serious, all right? I just need that last bit of land to build that mall, and you know what? I'm gonna be all set. So you've said, sir, five times now. Yeah, yeah, I, I can tell you're excited. Whoa, what? Where did he get that car? He must have stolen it or something. Hey, hey, Harry, get over here. Ugh, not you again. Yeah, how's the penny to a trillion looking, huh? You turn into a criminal now? No, actually, I created a successful business, Squirrel Chow. Yeah, well, guess what? It looks pathetic, all right? It sounds like a stupid pet and zoo business or something. This is your big plan to save your family? Oh, boy. It's actually one of the few business ventures I'm doing. I'm branching out. Squirrel Chow started it, but I actually just bought another business. Oh, big deal. Look at you little buddy got three businesses on you bill i got around a thousand well i'll catch up in no time that's for sure i told you i'd prove you wrong and look you like the car looks like i'm proving you wrong yeah no, no whatever you got lucky all right you're never gonna get my land no way you mean my land and i will get it back just wait and see Ah, oh, that stupid Harry guy. I hate him so much. What's he up in there anyway, huh? No way he's actually winning in life. He can't have any achievements. That's my job. I have to find a way to stop him. To ruin his business and his life. Make sure he stays on the streets where he belongs. Guy's so stupid. Stupid new owner fired me? How dare he? I'm the Randy. Hey, can you knock it off over there? Some stupid homeless punk just came in and decided to ruin my life. Oh, wait a minute. Are you talking about that uh, Harry guy? Yeah, what is it to you, huh? So I heard he ruined your life. And if from the sounds of it, it sounds like you're jobless now. Yeah, but it's fine. I'm Randy. I can get back on my feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Listen, me and you are not so different, all right? I can tell that we have have a common enemy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that stupid hairy guy that I just brought up. Look, we can work together, and we can stop him. That sounds like a good plan. But what's in it for me? Well, as soon as we do that, you can be the new owner of this stupid car dealership, huh? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm gonna name it Randy's Tires. All right, dude, let's just do the stupid job. All right, sweetheart, here's your big surprise. What? What are we doing here? Well, I figured we'd treat ourselves. 
But Harry, we can't afford the food here. It's so expensive. And we can't waste our money like this. Well, that's not it. There's another big surprise. We've made our first million dollars. What? A million dollars? No, you're joking. No, I'm not kidding. Our first million's in the bank. Hey, you know that this restaurant doesn't accept food stamps, right? You better get lost, man. Um, who is this guy? He's the owner of the bank. Look, man, I'm just here having dinner with my wife, okay? Yeah, well, you better enjoy it because when the night ends in the next morning, you're gonna be right back to square one. You literally know nothing about me. I have a successful business now, and it started from a single penny. In fact, actually, I have two businesses now, and they're gonna be very successful. And I almost have enough money to buy back my land. And you won't be able to take my home away from me. Yeah, we'll see about that, buddy. You know what? I'm not gonna... Hold on. Officer Rufus? I'm not gonna tell you! Officer Rufus, calm down. What's wrong? You need to come to the dealerships. Quicks, y'all. It's a tragedy. Looks like my plan happened a little sooner than I thought. <laughs> Boo-hoo, y'all. Officer Rufus, what happened here? I don't know, y'all, but everything destroy, y'all. All the cars is gone. You can't be selling this. Oh, no. Who could have done this? Officer from Rufus on this case, okay? I'm gonna look around the areas, find all the clues, and solve the crimes. Well, at least Officer Rufus is on this. Wow, what a shame, huh? Looks like your entire place got wrecked. Ja, man, looks like it's like completely like gone and, and wrecked. Business can be cruel, huh? You, you two are working together. You had something to do with this. What, us? No, no, I would never do anything like that, all right? It's not like me at all. Yeah, I see through your lies. I know what you're after. But Officer Rufus is on the case, and he's going to solve this. He'll prove to the world you did this. Yeah, I'm so sick of that toothless officer, dude. Want to knock one of those two teeth out of his mouth. In time, Randy, all right? Harry, just give up, man, all right? It's not worth it. You don't realize the war you're stepping into. Get lost. I have my business to fix. All right, I warned you. Let's go, Randy. So, Officer Rufus, do you have any leads? Eximly, um, no. No? I'm sorry, y'all. I did my bestest. I tried to look at the security footings, but it's all gone. It's gone? <sighs> Someone must have deleted it. I know it was Randy and that evil bank boss, but without proof, we can't do anything. I know, and I'm so sorry, y'all. I feel like I failed. Officer Rufus, it's okay. We'll get them one way or another. So what you gonna do now, y'all? I mean, everything be destroyed. I know, and no one wants beat up old cars. Nobody's gonna buy them. Honestly, the police stations could use new cars, y'all. Because they all beaten up and old as well. Yeah, but I've got to think of something. A way to fix this. I know. I wish I could help see you, y'all. But I can't really think. It's okay, Officer Rufus. You know what? I think I just might have an idea. Oh, dude. Can't believe I got away with that. I know, I know. I shouldn't return to the scene of the crime. But I just can't help myself. I want to see on the look on Harry's stupid little face. Wait, what? Wh what's going on? What is all this? Well, I turned the lemons you gave me into lemonade. I found out that the police force needs a ton of new car parts. Well, that's stupid. What really stupid is that you thought you could actually stop me. Destroying my cars and leaving them with nothing for parts actually turned out to be a great idea. No, 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 stop doing this. Stop. You need to fail, man. No matter how hard you try, I'm not gonna stop. Well, you know what? You're just a stupid bum, all right? Trying to play all smart at business. You don't know anything about business. And that's what you keep telling yourself. But look at me. I'm succeeding and I'm doing well. So clearly you don't know everything. I'm gonna let all my businesses do the talking for me. Oh, whatever, man. Let's see how long that lasts. He might actually be able to pull off that stupid penny to a trillion trick after all. Clearly, I'm gonna have to bring out the big guns if I want to get rid of him. Stupid Randy guy isn't helpful at all. Hey, hey, no way. Well, what's he doing over here? Harry, what are you doing in my neighborhood, all right? Get out of here. This is for rich people only. Not that it's any of your actual business, but I'm scoping out my future house. Yeah, what? No. There's no way you can afford to live here. You know, you're probably right. Yeah, I know. I'm always right. Now get lost. Well, the house isn't really for me. I'm in real estate now. What? You're in real estate? No way, dude. You're not going to be able to sell a house at all. Yeah, well, you'll see soon enough. I'm going to be one of the best real estate agents this town has ever seen. I hope you look forward to having some new neighbors. <laughs>
Where is this real estate agent? Doesn't he know my time is valuable? Like everything else I own? Hello, Mr. Frankfurt, sir. Sorry I'm late. I'm Harry. Nice to meet you. I was caught up selling my old business and I had to sign a couple pieces of paper. Yeah, I don't really care, okay? Look at you. Your clothing? Is this some kind of joke? No, sir. Not a joke at all. You are trying to sell this house, sir? Yeah, and once you get inside, I think you'll really like it. Well, let's get to it. Time is money. I have a lot of it, but I don't have a lot of time. Follow me. Let me show you around. So what do you think, sir? Well, it seems all right. I mean, it'll be good as a nice summer house. Well, the asking price for this home is $800 million. $800 million, you say? Well, that's actually a steal. I'll take it. Excellent, excellent. I'll draft up all the paperwork, and I'll have it to you uh, by tomorrow. You know, you did a good job, Harry. You might look like a mess on the outside, but you've got it all together. Thank you, sir. Oh, I can't believe it. I just sold my first home. Nah, this is ridiculous. This kid has got to be cheating in life. You know what? This gives me an idea. Finally gonna put Harry in the proper place he deserves. Back on the street. All right, Natalie, keep your eyes closed. Okay, but what are we doing? All right, stop right here. Ready? One, two, three, open them. Harry, what are we doing at this house? Well, it's ours now. But this is amazing. Four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, huge kitchen, you're gonna love it. But what about our old home? Oh, don't worry about that. Don't you love living in a home like this? It's what we've always dreamed of. Yeah, I know. But the home we have now means a lot to me. It was a gift from my father. I know it's not much, but it meant a lot to me. It just needs a little work. I mean, new windows, a nice roof, a white picket fence, all that. You're right. I mean, it would be really nice. We've lived there for so long now. I mean, it's the first house our son has ever known. And I know this house is beautiful. It's really amazing. But our other house really meant something. How could a giant pile of trash mean something to you? You have no right to move here, man. This is my neighborhood. Well, it is a free country. And I have the money to buy this house. And this is where I'm going to live. Now my property values is plummeting because they see a homeless guy over here getting a new house in my area. You have no right, dude. We're not homeless people. We're just people. We have a home and you're trying to steal it from us. Look, man, you can't tell me how to live my life. Just back off. Whatever, dude. Just enjoy it while you can. Hey, hey, Harry. Harry, over here, man. Frank? Uh, hey, what's going on? Listen, no one can know that I am here right now, but I have to tell you something. Um, okay. My boss at the bank, he's not gonna wait around anymore. He's gonna take all of your money. What? Harry, he can't just do that. Yeah, well, you don't know what he's capable of. And your money just isn't safe in the bank anymore. Well, if my money's not safe at the bank, what am I supposed to do? Here's what you need to do, okay? You need to take all of your money out, put it into cash, and hide it somewhere. It is very important that you turn it into cash. All right, I get the idea of hiding it, but why are you helping me? Because, man, you know, me and you, we go way back, and I just want to look out for you. Yeah, well, when I came and asked for your help before, you denied me, turned your back on me. I don't know. I just felt like it this time. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for the advice, Frank. I'll look into it. See ya, Harry. Into cash, like I told you. Good job, Frank. Wow, I'm very impressed with your acting skills. Yeah, man, whatever. Can't believe you made me turn my back on my friend like that. Eh, shut up, dude. Be quiet, all right? You got your raise. And plus, you want to stay off the street, don't you? Yeah, I don't want to be homeless. Well, good, because your stupid friend over there is so gullible. And now that he's going to turn all that money into sweet, sweet cash, we're going to rob him, and he's going to be worth nothing. All right, well, I turned my money into cash, and now I have to hide it. Um, Harry, can I ask you a question, y'all? Of course, Officer Rufus, what is it? Why is you doing this, y'all? I mean, this all seems a little suspicious, y'all. I know, it is kind of weird. I mean, this is only half of your money's, but I mean, still, this is your mother's, y'all. Yeah, but I trust Frank. I mean, we have been friends for years. All I'm gonna say is this. I have been around for a long time, y'all, okay? I've seen lots of wild things, and I'm always suspicious of things when it comes to money, y'all, okay? Okay. You know, Officer Rufus, maybe you're right. Maybe I should put this in my safe and then go hide the rest of the money. Yes, I think that's a much better idea. Will you go to the bank with me tomorrow so I can get the rest of the money? I don't know. I just don't really feel safe right now. Um, that's part of my job. So the answer to that question is yes. Let's go, y'all. All right. I just got to make sure I have everything ready and then I'll go to the bank with Officer Rufus. 
Hold on a second. Where's my money? Oh, the safe door is wide open. Someone broke in and that was all gone. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Turn your money into cash and hide it. <laughs> Great idea. Makes it so much easier to steal. I know exactly who's behind this. No, stop. It wasn't me. Officer Rufus, what's going on here? I got a call to arrest this ma'am's right here, y'all. No, no, Harry, you gotta believe me. I've been framed. This ma'am's is lying to you, okay, Harry? He's the one that stole all your monums. I had a feeling it might have been you. Listen, I know I did bad stuff before, but this, it's the other guy. He's behind it all. The, 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 the bank boss. Okay, I had enough of these conversations. I'm running late to pick up my Chipotle. It's him, I tell you. It's him. Oh, wow. It's so sad. I can't believe I had to turn in one of my own friends to the cops. Friend? He's not your friend. Yeah, you're right. He's not. I actually really don't care about him. Sorry about your money, though, man. No, you're not. I know you're the one that probably set Randy up to do this. And then you turned him in. That's cold. Yeah, what can you do? Well, I want my money back. So where is it? I don't know, man. And it's gone. I mean, like, what money? <sighs> I've had enough of this lying. I'm gonna get Officer Rufus back here, and I'm gonna make sure he arrests you, too. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that. Oh, no, 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 no. Harry, please, no, you have to do something. Hey, hey, you stop, please. Oh, great, this guy again. You can't do this. Sorry, dude, it's too late, all right? Nothing I can do. I already got paid to do the job, so I gotta follow through. You gave us a chance before. You know this is where we live. Please. Sorry, man, out of my hands. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Natalie. I think I was too late. You were supposed to protect us and save our home, and now it's being destroyed. I did everything I could. No, you weren't. All you were thinking about was money and that mean bank dude and how to get back at him. You should have been thinking about me and your son. I thought that's what I was doing. Everything I've been doing so far has been for you two, to keep you safe and get our home back. Well, that didn't happen, now did it? And look at us, now we're gonna have to find a new place to live? Natalie, I'm sorry, I, I can fix this. I know I can. Yeah, right. Natalie! I have to fix this. Well, luckily I can stay in this motel for a little while. Oh, Natalie won't talk to me. Half my fortune's gone. And now there's no way I can buy that land back. I can't even afford any of the homes I have for sale. <sighs> Come on, Harry, think, think. You've gotten your way out of worse. You can get your way out of this one. Hello? Hi, y'all. Oh, hi, Officer Rufus. Oh, Harry, you look so sad. Oh, I am sad. Well, it hurts about what happened to your house. I'm sorry, y'all, that's so sad. Thanks, Officer Rufus, but I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do next, you know? Yes, that's right. You gotta keep moving forwards. You can't be standing around here being sad for yourselves. No, I can't. It was cool selling all those fancy cars and all those nice houses, but at the end of the day, didn't get me where I wanted. That trillion dollars and to save my family. That's what I want the most. Okay, I need to talk to you real quick right now, okay? You is acting wild. What? You is acting wild. You is not being Harry right now, okay? Harry is smart, determines, and he not gonna let no one stop him from getting his dreams. Yeah, you're right. That is me. I'll keep plugging away. I might be down now, but I'm not out. I could still do this. That's right, y'all. Okay, now I want to know if you want to go to Chipotle and get some burritos. Items. On me, y'all. Really, Officer Rufus, you're buying? For once in a million years, yes, I'll buy some Chipotle. All right, yeah, that actually sounds really nice. The next two days were a blur for Harry. He worked around the clock. 10 times the work, 10 times the stress. But he ended up with 10 times the money. As his bank account began to fill back up, so did his confidence. And sure, his home was gone, but he knew he could get his family back and give them the life they deserved. All right. Another beautiful home sold to a family. The commission on this house is gonna be so nice. I think I have one more house to go, and then I'll have all that money that was stolen back. Maybe Natalie will forgive me. Yo, yo, Harry. What do you want, Frank? You here to lie to me again? No, come on, please. You need to listen, all right? This time I'm serious. The last time I listened to you, half of my money was stolen. I'm not making that mistake again. I know, I didn't want to do it, but the bank boss guy, he, he made me. And listen, he's a fraud. Like I'm supposed to believe anything you say now. I'm serious. He doesn't have any money on his own. He takes people's cash and uses it for himself. 
you're really not joking about this, are you? No, I'm not. He doesn't have a cent to his name. He doesn't own your land at all. He lied about everything. So he's using stolen people's money to pay someone to tear down my home? This is unbelievable. The best thing is, is you can buy your land back. It could be yours. Well, this is something I'm definitely going to have to look into. Um, thanks for this, Frank. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything, okay? I hope that you can forgive me one day. Maybe one day. I don't know if I can trust him, but if there's a chance this is true, this could be incredible. Officer Rufus, I have a favor to ask. There's one thing you need to know about me, Harry, okay? And I am always willing to help my friends. What do you mean, y'all? Well, can you go to Town Hall for me? I need you to look into all that information about the bank boss I told you. Um, if I can remember exactly what you said, that would be helpful. Yes, Officer Rufus, remember? He actually doesn't have money. He's stealing it. Oh, that's right. Yes, okay. I looked into it now, y'all. We could bring this guy down. Who knows how many other people's lives he's been ruining? Who's been ruining what? Funny to see that you're still in real estate when you don't got a home. It's funny that you keep following me everywhere when I keep telling you to leave me alone. But guess what? I know the truth about you. The truth about me? What do you mean by that, huh? I'm sick of you, your lies, and all your dirty tricks. I know exactly who you are, and I know the secret you're hiding. I, I, I don't have no secret. You know nothing, all right? You know absolutely nothing. Oh, looks like you're a little bothered. Yes, this man looks very upset, y'all. Is you distraught? Listen, if you look into anything, you're gonna regret it, all right? So be smart while you can and back off. Okay, I was about to have enough to hear y'all with all this. You can't be fretting my friends like that. Shut up, you two-tooth idiot. <gasps> My two taste is beautiful, y'all. I'm gonna take you down, and I know exactly how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat you at your own game. Ooh, that's right. Harry is in for it now, y'all. Try anything and you're done for, you hear that? Hey, where are you going? Do you hear me? Oh, I hear you. I'm going off to start my own bank. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, good luck. It's gonna crash in the ground, I guarantee it. Ooh, look at this place here. This is kind of nice, y'all. Yeah, I actually got a really good deal on it, too. The landlord was really happy I was starting my own bank. Oh, that's nice, but, like, why? Well, apparently everybody hates the bank boss, not just me. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. I mean, I can finally put my money somewhere. I know it's going to be saves. Officer Rufus, where do you keep your money? I didn't think you had any. Oh, that's a surprise. I accidentally have lots of money. Really? I really wouldn't have guessed. That's because I had all my money under my face favorite trees because I can't trust no one's with it, okay? It's a lot of monums, and when I say a lot, I mean like a lot, y'all. You keep your money buried under a tree? Well, the time for that is over, Officer Rufus. You're going to give your money to this bank because it's going to be safe here no matter what. Yes, I trust you harems with my lives and also my monums, so yes, I'll be your first customums. Oh my goodness, do I get a picture on the wall? <laughs> if you want a picture on the wall, sure. Yes! So is this the new bank I've heard of? Yeah. Uh, this is the new business venture I'm starting. Wow, uh, can I deposit my money here too? You want an open account here with me? Yeah, it's my life savings I want to store here. I'm sick and tired of paying that other bank boss guy to look after it. Well, you're more than welcome to open an account here, Frank. I'd be happy to have you. Good, because this place looks cool. Yeah, and you'll be able to trust that your money's not being stolen by some greedy jerk. This is the start of something big. I can't wait to store my money in this bank. That old bank boss charged me a hundred bucks to have an account. These are free. And we're gonna save so much money. What? What's this line doing here? Oh no. This guy's bank. It's actually getting business. No, no, no. It can't be. It can't be. Oh, hey, came to see the new competition, huh? You look nervous. Is everything okay? No, no, nervous? I'm not nervous. I've never been nervous, all right? I've never been nervous in my entire life. I was just going out for a walk. See that your stupid business is up. Well, yeah, business is actually going to go really well. People are excited to have a new bank in town. Did you want to open an account with us? It's free. Oh, don't mock me, you stupid idiot. Not going to sign up with you guys. Well, that's your loss. Kind of like your loss on your personalities, y'all. Ooh-wee. Officer Rufus, that was a good... Good burn. Thanks, y'all. I've been thinking about that ever since this ma'am's insulted my two teeths. You come for my teeth, you get burned, y'all. Oh, and um, here you go, Harry. This is a piece of paper I got from a friend. Thanks, Officer Rufus. Now, if you gentlemen don't mind, I have some business to take care of. I'll talk to you later, Rufus. Okay, yes, Harems. Bye, y'all. Hey, what was that stupid paper you just gave him, huh? What was that? I don't have to tell you nothings because you don't tell me what's to do, y'all. Nobody does. Oh, my God. Just being around you is dropping my IQ by the second. Get out of my sight! 
That's for arms. I don't want to be around you no more anyways. You is not a nice ma'ams, and I only is frams with nice peepums. Not you, y'all. Lighters. Oh, man. It's starting to freak out here. Oh, this doesn't feel so good. He's actually doing it. He's actually stealing my business. Oh, I gotta act now. All right, so this is the last house I have to sell. It's worth $500 million. I still can't believe it. Before, I was just struggling to get a penny. Now I'm dealing with millions of dollars almost on a daily basis. But once I get this mansion, it's locked down. Wait, what is happening? Uh, excuse me, sir. What is happening here? All right, yeah, there was an infestation uh, in your house here. There's mice everywhere. What? Mice? I did an inspection myself. There weren't any mice here before. Your house is condemned until further notice. Condemned? No, 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 no. This can't be happening. I'm showing this house today. Someone's coming here wanting to buy it. I'm sorry. There's just nothing I can do. I apologize for the inconvenience. Oh my gosh. This is the last house I have to sell. Is there any way we can like do this tomorrow? You really want people to come in the house when there's a bunch of mouse around? Yeah, you're right. Can't really sell a house if there are mice in it. Yeah, and the weird thing is, is with the amount of mouse that are in the house now? This kind of seems unnatural. I don't know. Unnatural? Wait, are you saying someone could have put these mice in this house? I'm not saying that, all right? I'm just saying. I've never seen as much mice enter a house this fast, especially overnight. That is really suspicious. You know, I think I need to give someone a call. Excuse me for a second. Ah, this is from Rufus, y'all. Hey, Officer Rufus, I need you to do me one more favor. Yeah, listen, from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry for everything that I've done to you, all right? To framing you, to getting you arrested, to literally lying to the police. I didn't mean any of it. Chow, well, it hurt my feelings, man. I thought we were partners, you and I. Yeah, well, just get over it. All right, fine. You're out of prison now, aren't you? All thanks to me. Well, I would have gone in there in the first place if it weren't for you. Yeah, yeah, but I saved your life, basically. So here's how you're going to help me out, all right? I could have used you last night when I was putting all those mice inside of Harry's mansion. But you weren't there. Yo, I'm sorry, all right? Right? That was my release night. That was a good job. I didn't even know you had that in you. Yeah, but listen, that's not big enough. We need to go bigger. Yeah, I agree. I think I have an idea. Well, I'm listening. Well, how are you starting a bank, right? And banks are usually like built on like trusts and all that. Well, why don't we just like torch the place? You want to set the entire bank on fire? Wow, that is evil. Yeah, we can make it look like it was like Harry's fault or something. And then no one is going to trust that bank. And I think I saw recently that Harry's going to go out of town soon. So I think we have the perfect time to actually set this up. And you know what? I think this is genius. All right, I'll go check ahead. Yeah, I don't want to do it anyway. Come on. We got to get this place fired up. Did you bring the gas con? Yeah, you made me hold it for like more than a second, dude. All right, good. I'll be right back. All right, I got to wait here now. This entire place is about to be up in flames, and Harry's going to know exactly who not to mess with. Hey, what's taking Randy so long? That guy's stupid. I don't like him. Hi there, criminal. You under arrest, y'all. Yes. Wait, what? No, I'm not under arrest. I didn't do anything. Uh, I've been hearing all these lies and fairy tales, and I'm sick of it, y'all. You got no proof, all right? I'm an innocent man. Actually, dude, you're like not because like I'm turning you in. I was recording our conversations and everything. That's right. And I have them in record -ums, and we going to take them to court and you're going to go to Yale, y'all. No, oh, you little. I know I couldn't have trusted you. You know, guys, thank you so much for all your hard work. Ah, <laughs> oh, you stupid idiot. I know you were behind this toe. And I've known for the whole time you've been behind everything. Stealing people's money, stealing my home, and destroying my businesses. Well, now it's time you pay the price for what you've done. Yeah, well, listen here, all right? This isn't the end of me. When I get out, you guys are all done for. Yes, yes. I hear this all the time, okay? And this never happens. You're gonna go to Yale and you're gonna be quiet. Now let's go. Oh, Harry, it's perfect. I figured you'd like it. It's a brand new home. But it's right where our old home used to be. So what are we gonna do now? Well, we're trillionaires now. There's one thing we do, and that's whatever we want. Who knew you could turn that penny into a trillion dollars? But you made it happen, Harry. All right, bro, catch! Ah, Cooper! Ugh, I hate you, Dan, you suck! I told you to catch it! You threw it in my face! Yeah, so what? I'm never gonna get better at football if you can't catch. Oh, whatever, I'm done with this. I need to focus on writing my book. Ugh, writing my book. You're the worst brother ever. Ow, dude, what the heck is your problem? What's going on here? Are you two fighting? Yeah, he just pushed me because I dropped the football. Daniel, it sounds like you should have caught the throw. You need to take responsibility for your actions. You always pick his side. If everyone in this family hates me, I don't understand. That's enough. Cooper, here's your allowance. Go buy yourself a new football or something, sweetie. Oh, <laughs> sweet. You guys are the worst. Stop complaining, Dan. Oh, boo-hoo. You're always gonna just be a poor loser. 
Just wait, man. Someday I'm gonna be a trillionaire. I'm gonna write the world's greatest book, and you'll all see. Fat chance, you idiot. Keep dreaming. I don't care what my family says. I don't care if everyone hates me. I'm gonna be a trillionaire someday. My book's gonna be great. Oh, look, Jackson, there he is. Hey, idiot. Cooper told us about some stupid thing that you're doing. You're trying to write some book like you're some book writer. Y'all, like anyone would want to read. No one wants to hang out with a loser like you. Fine, you don't have to like it. Probably not smart enough to read it anyway. Shut up, idiot. Give me that. No, come on. Give me that back. Ah, oh, whoops. Watch your step, Dan. Ah, oh, you guys suck. Stop it. Give it back, man. That's my hard work. What's the matter, nerd? Oh, are you gonna cry? Everyone here hates you. You deserve this. Huh? No! It's my only copy, man. You're such a jerk. Oh, hey. What's going on here? Jackson took my manuscript and flushed it down the toilet. Good. Books suck. This behavior is unacceptable, Daniel. Come to my office. We need to have a serious discussion. Listen, Dan, no one cares about your stupid fantasy book. Picking on another student's unacceptable. You can't just push people. Well, what about them? They're picking on me all the time. Why aren't they punished? Because they're needed for tonight's football game, and your brother Cooper relies on them. They won't face any consequences this time. So just because they play football and they're good at it means that they can just do whatever they want? Yep, pretty much. I have no choice, Dan, but to suspend you. You need to leave the school grounds immediately. Fine. Remember, maybe this isn't all that bad. Now I got some more time to work on my book. I basically gotta start over. Uh, um, uh, mom? The principal called me. I can't believe you. Getting yourself suspended for pushing one of your classmates? What has gotten into you? Well, whatever, they deserved it. I don't wanna hear it. You are grounded until further notice. Fine, you go home now? Oh, I'm not here to drive you home. Cooper has a football game tonight. I know I'm not supposed to, but I don't care. I'm glad I snuck out of the house. I'm finally gonna meet my favorite author. Hey, Greg, uh, my name's Dan. I I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi, Dan. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's really nice to meet you, too. I gotta say, reading your books really helped me escape from the world. Sometimes it feels like everybody hates me. But when I'm reading your books, I just feel accepted. Feels like everybody hates you, huh? Well, let me let you in on a little secret. I used to feel that way, too. Wow, really? And you were able to create just such amazing things from that. That is actually how I created all my books. Felt like it was a way I could escape. Daniel, Stephen, Quimby, what do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, I, I couldn't mix this, Mom. You were supposed to be grounded. Now I find you here at the mall? Mom, this is really important to me. I'm sorry, I shouldn't even be grounded in the first place. You don't get to make the rules, young man. I do. And you, who do you think you are? Um, I'm Greg Loomis, the author well, who- guess what? I don't care. Wow, this is your mom? Sorry, kid, uh, she really sucks. Funny, coming from a man who doesn't even iron his shirt. Now, Daniel, get to marching and pick those feet up. I'm sorry, Greg, this is super embarrassing. And you're constantly breaking my rules. Honestly, young man, I've had it up to here with you. You know what? I've had it with this house too, all right? All you care about is Cooper and his stupid football. You guys treat me terrible and you don't even realize it. And I have had it up to here with all of this. Your brother has a dream to be a professional football player and he needs to pursue it. So I will do anything to make that happen. What about my dreams, mom? I want to write amazing books. I want to be a trillionaire. I want to make a difference in this world. And the chances of that happening are slim to none. And you need to stop with all this fantasy book writing. It's dumb. And you think Cooper can be a professional football player? He doesn't have the discipline. No one is perfect, Daniel. These things will never take you anywhere. You're not allowed to write in this house anymore unless it's for homework. God, you know what? Whatever. In a few weeks, I'm going to be 18, and I'm going to leave this house, and you're never going to see me again. Hey, delivery. You're late. I've been waiting forever! Dude, no, I'm early. The estimated time was in five minutes from now. Are you calling me a liar? No, not at all. I just wanted you to know that I'm on time. Yeah, well, I hate you! I'm gonna call your manager and complain about what a jerk you are! Now give me my pizza, idiot! What's this guy's problem? You were late to deliver into one of our most valuable customers? That guy orders five pizzas a day! 
This is unacceptable, Dan. Oh, I wasn't. I was early. I don't know what that guy's deal is. And I don't want to hear your excuses. Your bad attitude costs us a valued customer. You're fired. You gotta be kidding me. Does it look like I'm kidding? You're done here. Ooh. What if the dark wizard casts a spell on the forest and turns the trees into monsters? Oh, I like that idea. Thanks for helping me with my book, Mason. It really means a lot to me, especially after getting fired. Yeah, no problem, man. Dude, this book is incredible. I can't wait for you to finish it. It's gonna be a big success. Plus, I need to read it. What the heck are you doing here, Dan? Trying to be smart, hanging out at the library now? <laughs> Such a loser. What's your problem anyway? What are you even doing here? Shouldn't you be at work? Oh my gosh, you got fired, didn't you? Ho <laughs> ho No surprise there. I mean, you're a terrible person. No wonder why everyone hates you. Shut up, Cooper. You have no right to talk to Dan like that. He's your brother, dude. What did you just say to me, nerd? Ha! <laughs> Ow! Hey, stop! You can't just hit my friend! <laughs> oh! My hand! Oh, my throwing hand! <laughs> I need an ambulance! How bad is it, doctor? I'm afraid it's not looking great for Cooper's hand. It might not fully recover in time for the big game. Oh no. I hope you're happy, Dan. We're gonna lose this football game because of you. This is all your fault. What a loser. Did you just hear that guy? I can't believe you would hurt your own brother. And now he might miss the game because of you? The whole town is gonna be upset. I was defending my friend. You don't get it, Cooper's a monster. He treats people like trash. Did Cooper just hurt his throwing arm? No. You did. You need to take responsibility for your actions. It's about time that you learn that. Why do you hate me, Mom? What? What are you talking about? And it's pretty obvious. Everybody hates me, even you. Why can't you see that I need love too? I don't hate you. It's just that Cooper requires more attention right now. I don't have time to get into this. I need to go check on your brother. Whatever. I'm gonna have my own life soon. You'll all see. You know, Dan, I want to thank you first for sending me your book. But this, this is incredible. It has a lot of potential to be a bestseller. Wow, seriously? Are you going to bring it to your publisher? That's like one of my main goals, getting my book published. That's how I can become a trillionaire. It all starts with the first one. Well, that is the best place to start, but sadly, they don't want to publish this book. Why? I thought you said that it was good. And it is, it is, but it's nowhere as good as mine. It'll be competing against it, and they just see it as an epic failure. Well, what if I make it better and I bring it back to you guys? I'm very sorry. It's too late, kid. They've already made up their mind. But I did want to wish you the best. And I don't want you to give up. No, I'm never going to give up. I'm going to try even harder now. This is just the beginning. You'll see. That's great, Dan. Fortunately, I have to go back to writing the next sequel. So uh, if you don't mind, see yourself out. It's fine. I'm going to write the greatest book of all time. Where's Mom and Cooper? They haven't even said happy birthday to me yet. I don't want to celebrate without them. Oh, Dan, we're going out to dinner tonight. Do you want anything from the restaurant? What? No, it's my birthday. We're all supposed to be going out. Ew, no. I know it's your birthday, but Cooper wanted to have a special dinner. Just the two of us. Yeah, and I don't want to be around you after what you did to my hand. I hate you. After what I did to you? What about what you've done to me, Cooper? Daniel, you cannot talk to your brother this way. No, I don't care anymore. I've had enough of it. You always defend Cooper. Well, I'm done. I'm leaving. And where do you think you're going? I'm 18 now. I'm going away from you guys. Yeah, well, whatever, loser. No idea where I'm going or what I'm doing, but I'm not going to be around people that hate me. I know that there's potential with this book. I'm going to be a trillionaire. And when I do, it's going to change everything. But for now, I got to find a place to stay. Dad, what the heck are you doing out here in the rain? Dude, I couldn't take it anymore. I just had to walk away from them. Okay, well, where are you going? You're just walking in the middle of a rainstorm. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to go hang out by the dumpster or something. Maybe I can take shelter there. Get in the car, dude. I know my dad will let you stay with us. Really? Yes, really. Now get in the car before you get sick. What's wrong with you? Dude, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. Dan, how's Cooper? Is his arm okay? Is he playing this weekend? We need a win. I don't know. I have no idea if he's going to play. It's because of you terrible things happen. Cooper's hand, 
My son getting picked on, you know? Well, Dad, that's not true. I get picked on because I'm a massive nerd, not because of Dan. There's no difference between being a nerd and being friends with Dan. Dan's incredibly boring and stupid. I, I didn't mean to cause any trouble, Mason. I, I didn't ask for any of this. I I'll just leave. It's fine. Uh, no, you're not. Don't worry about it, dude. My dad's just a big football fan, and he doesn't even understand me sometimes. He still thinks an Xbox and a PS5 are the same uh, thing. I, I can't even be around this anymore. You guys are just too annoying. So don't worry about him, okay? Let's just find you somewhere to stay. We've got a couch in the basement you can sleep on. Oh, thanks, man. You're a great friend. Hey, Dan! Oh, hey, Cooper. How have you been? I'm doing much better now that my hand's healed. Listen, nerd, I need your help. Don't say anything, okay? I'm failing history class, and you're going to tutor me. Dude, I don't know if I can help you. I mean, I want to, but I'm already struggling in that class as it is. I don't care. I can't be held back again, and they might not let me play football. You're going to tutor me whether you like it or not. All right, well, look, dude, you got to put in more effort. You got to study harder, and you just got to believe in yourself. You can do this. Yeah, right. Like I'd take advice from a loser like you. <laughs> Buddy, the loser just dropped his lunch all over himself. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, man, awesome way to treat your brother. Thanks. Dad, did you reorganize the encyclopedias? Yeah, sir, just finished. Don't even know why we have those now, because, like, you can just look everything up online. But... Yeah, yeah, I know, but whatever. We have them, so great job. I'm glad you did that. I want to say thanks for all your hard work. Uh, you've been doing a great job at the library. Oh, thanks, Dylan. Appreciate you giving me the job. I've been using my money to help try to get my book published. Look, I haven't mentioned that before. I just finished writing it. I wasn't sure if you'd be interested. It's a fantasy novel. Oh, that's, like, my favorite genre. I'd love to read your book if you're okay with it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I've been working really hard on this, so maybe an extra set of eyes could help. Thanks. Oh, this is awesome. Dylan's the head librarian. He's written a book himself. Maybe this is the start that I needed. Next, Next up, up, Daniel, Daniel Harrison. Harrison. Congratulations, Dan. Thanks, Principal Earl. And next, next up, up, Cooper Harrison. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Let's go, Hawks. <laughs> yeah. Where do you think you're going? We're all going out to dinner to celebrate. Yeah, well, I'm going back to Mason's house. Plus, I know you guys don't really want me there. Hey, that's not true. We want you to be there. <coughs> hey, what did you do to mom? Why is she coughing like this? He didn't do anything, Cooper. <coughs> I'm fine. <coughs> See, dude, I didn't do anything. You can't just blame me for every single thing that happens. It's not all my fault. Just go away, Dan, okay? We don't want you anywhere near us. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to be around you either, so looks like I was Dan, right after all. <coughs> please wait. Just forget about it, Mom. So, Dan, have you already started planning your next book? Well, sort of. I mean, I got to focus on getting this one published first before diving into the next one. Dan! Dan! You won't believe it. This is the greatest book I've ever read. I immediately called my buddy at a publishing company. Guess what? They want to publish your book. They're going to start printing copies. That's incredible news. I can't believe it, Dylan. I owe you everything. You don't owe me anything, Dan. Just promise me one thing. Let's have the book opening right here at the library. It'll be a great way to celebrate. Oh, absolutely. My dream, it's finally happening. Hey, Mom! Cooper! Anyone home? What are you doing here? Where's Mom? Mom's at work. All right, cool. I got something really important to tell you. My book got published, and they're having a launch party at, at the library tomorrow. I wanted to invite both you and Mom to come and be a part of it. Still obsessed with that stupid book? Newsflash, Dan. Mom and I don't care about your dumb book. We both think you're a loser, and that's never going to change. Plus, it's probably a lie anyways. Who would publish that trash? Fine, whatever. It's okay if you don't believe in me, Cooper. I'm proud of my book and I believe in myself. And you know what? I'm gonna make a ton of money. And your opinion doesn't define my self-worth. Oh, really? You don't care what I think? Well, you should care, Dan. I'm gonna play college football and I'm gonna be a star. You'll never be famous like me. And I'm gonna be way richer than you. Well, good luck with your football dreams, Cooper. I mean, I genuinely mean that. I hope you find what you're looking for. Just get out! Ugh! I don't wanna see your stupid face anymore. So, what are we doing here, dude? Like, I want some wings. I'm hungry. My loser brother is launching his loser book here. So we're going to steal them. Then we can go eat wings and burgers or what? Yes, then we can go eat wings. Come on. Awesome, amen. Let's go. Don't do anything stupid. 
There they are. Those are the books we're after. Start grabbing them and put them in your car. This is the moment you've been waiting. Wait, what? What's going on? Why are people so upset? There's no books for the book release. Yeah, you suck, Dan. You're a loser. Wait, no, there's got to be a mistake. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, man, look. I know I'm not a total failure, Mason. It seems like failure might have worked in your favor, dude. What do you mean? The demand for your book skyrocketed after the launch. The physical copies being stolen made people buy your book online. And the reviews are incredible. Oh, let me see this. Whoa, I made $100,000 in a night from this book? That's incredible. Yeah, it is. You're on your way to being a real trillionaire now. Sorry, Mason, my mom's calling me. Give me one second. Hey, mom, wh what's up? Oh, hello? Yeah, I'm her son. Oh, okay, I'll be I'll be right there. Dan? I gotta go. Dan? Dan, what's wrong? You idiot! Why didn't you tell me mom was sick? I didn't know either, Cooper. Mom didn't tell me anything. You're the one that lives with her. This is all your fault. You never cared about mom or me. It's always been about you and your stupid book and your own selfish dreams. It's not true, Cooper. I didn't know about mom's illness, okay? And I care about both of you. I've always been there for you, even when it seemed like you didn't want me around. Yeah, well, I definitely don't want you around now. I can't stand being near you. Ugh. Um, what's wrong? Why didn't you tell us about this? I've been sick for a long time, Dan, but I didn't want to burden the family. I knew you could handle it better than Cooper. Mom, I, I didn't realize. Sorry if I ever made you feel like you had to hide your pain from us. I'm so sorry, too. I should have trusted you more. You've always been so independent. I know you can handle anything that comes your way. So that's why you treated me differently? Cooper needs more attention and guidance. He seems tough, but he's not. He needed to feel seen and supported. I thought it was best for him, but I see now that I may have overlooked your needs in the process. Gosh, why didn't you tell me this earlier, Mom? It's just you and him now, and he'll need your help more than you know. I promise, Mom. I'll watch out for him. I'll be there. Thank you, Dan. I love you. Ugh. Mom! Mom! Someone help! Someone help! Quick, help! Mom always wanted us to stick together. It's important that we honor our memory by just doing that. Stop lying, Dan. Mom and I both hated you, and we always will. You were never there for us. You're wrong, man. Mom loved us both, and she wanted us to be there for each other. She knew I could help you, and I want to be there for you too. Help me? I don't want your help. I'm a big time college football star. You're just a pathetic nerd. You're nothing. Cooper, my book's so successful. It can provide both of us with a really big chance of success. I'm gonna be a trillionaire, man, and I want you by my side. I'm not gonna listen to a loser like you. I don't need your help, and I don't want it. Maybe one day he'll come around. Maybe he'll realize that we can be there for each other just like mom wanted, but I don't know. He's just so stubborn and selfish. Can't give up though. Yes, finished it. Second book complete. Dude, I just got lost in this house. This place is huge. It's not that big. Uh, yeah, it is. I've been looking for you for an hour. Did you know that you have three pools? What are you doing, dude? I just sent off my second book to my publishers. It's done. Dude, whoa, I can't believe it. It's only been two years since your first book, and that made you $100 million. Dude, you're living the dream. It really has been incredible. I never imagined that my book would resonate with so many people like this. The love and support has been like, Kind of overwhelming. So are you a trillionaire yet or what? No, not yet. Maybe someday soon. But whatever, let's take a break and have some fun. I've got this awesome TV for gaming. Oh, this is awesome. This thing is insane. Hey, how's uh, your brother doing though? Have you heard from him at all? No, oh, I haven't heard from him much since the funeral. Tried reaching out, but he hasn't returned any of my calls or messages. Oh, uh, that's a shame. I mean, he's always been stubborn and I know you've always wanted to help him. Maybe he'll realize that someday. Yeah, I believe that too. And I'll keep reaching out to him even if it takes time. I wanted him to know that I'm here for him, but let's just go enjoy ourselves. Let's let's do some gaming, man. I've got a big meeting tonight. I gotta relax before that. Oh yeah, prepare to lose.
So it's settled then. The book is gonna be a movie. Count me in, Dan. My company would love to produce it. And we're on board. We got a deal. Wait, they want to make this book into a movie? Dan, I'm your agent. Would I lie to you? I, I can't believe it. See my book come to life on the big screen? It's a dream come true. This is going to be huge for you, kid. We're not just stopping at the movie. We're gonna sell merchandise, create TV shows, video games, so much more. That's incredible. I hope they'll consider adapting my second book too. Well, let's focus on the first one success dan we'll take it one step at a time absolutely we'll make sure the movie becomes a sensation your talent deserves all the recognition it can get now if you gentlemen don't mind i have to tell my son about this he'll be so excited he loves your book dan really pumped about this Woo! get ready dan your life is about to change yo mason i got some big news yeah meet me tonight for dinner you won't believe what's happening what? Dude, I can't believe it. It's gonna become a movie? I know, it's surreal. I couldn't have done it without your support, Mason. Yeah, I know. Hey guys, welcome to the restaurant. I'm Cooper, I'll be your... Oh, hey Dan, nerd guy. You work here? Oh, it's, it's good to see you, man. Yeah, I mean, totally. Hey, remember that one time I threw the football and we won? What? Yeah, it was pretty awesome, huh? I mean, everyone loved me. Cooper, why are you acting weird? What's up with you? Yeah, man, you seem different. What's going on? What about school? Uh, don't worry about it, dude. Dude, I'm awesome. But, uh, Dan, can I talk to you alone real quick? Yeah, sure. Hey, listen, I've been struggling a lot lately. I thought I could figure it all out, you know? I mean, back when I was a star quarterback and all, everything seemed so easy. I was supposed to be rich and famous, but things didn't turn out the way I expected. Man, Cooper, I've been waiting for you to reach out. I've always wanted to help you, but I can't count how many times you said you hated me. Yeah, and... Sorry I picked on you, I guess. I was just too proud to ask for help, but now I'm at a point I can't do this on my own anymore. Look, I'm here for you, all right? I'll give you one more chance. Let's work together and turn things around. Why don't you come over tonight after work? Where, where are you living? Oh, um, on Jackson's couch? And his girlfriend kind of hates me. Well, get your stuff. You can stay with me. Awesome. Thanks, dude. I appreciate this more than you know. Dan, I've got incredible news. The launch of your second book was a massive hit. We've already sold millions of copies. Oh, let's go. That's amazing, Jason. Another bestseller. I can't believe it. And guess what? The movie for your first book is going to start filming next week. And they love your brand new book so much, they want to jump right into that one as well. Wait, the second book? But the first movie isn't even released yet. Dan, these books are red hot right now. The demand is incredible and everyone wants in. They want to capitalize on this momentum. Wow, this is beyond my wildest dreams. I think people like my stories that much. Wow. Movie? Did I hear a movie? Dan, I, I should be the lead role. I mean, I've always been a star and I'm ready to shine again. <laughs> oh, Cooper, they're looking for real actors, not some washed up football stars. Hey, I was the star on the field, okay? And I can do this. Dan, put me in your movie, okay? Coop, look, it's, it's really not up to me. The production team has their own vision and professional actors. Nothing personal. <sighs> you know what, forget it. I don't need your help or your stupid movies anyways. Quiet on set! Oh, this is wild. It's just like I imagined it would be. This movie's gonna be so sick. Oh gosh, fire! Hey, everyone, there's a fire! Oh, the whole set's burning down. You never gave me a chance, Dan. You left me out of your movie. So now, no more movie. So you decided to set this place on fire, put people in danger. That's your solution. Well, it's your fault. If you had just given me a role, none of this would have happened. No, Cooper, this is on you. You're a grown man acting like a baby throwing a tantrum. I can't believe you would resort to something like this. We're done. Fine. I don't need you or your stupid money or your cars or your mansions anyways. They all suck, just like you. Good. Pack your things and leave. Mom would be really disappointed, Cooper. Ugh, this is all your fault. I hate you. We can't let Dan get away with this. He's nothing but a loser, and he can't be more successful than us. We were the stars of the football team. Ah, uh, I don't know, Cooper. Like, he is your brother after all. Y'all, dude, we're all grown-ups now. High school was years ago. Isn't it time to move on? Andrew, Jackson, do you even hear yourselves? This is a nerd we're talking about. He's not my brother. 
That's cold, dude. Ah, seriously, dude. Oh, you're just as pathetic as he is. I know what your problem is. You always thought he was cooler than me, huh? Admit it. Yeah, all right, fine, dude. Yeah, he's cooler than you, man. Guy's got a book and a movie. Like, yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, I thought he was cool too. I mean, Dan's got talent and he's like a billionaire now. I can't believe you'd betray me like this. If you're not gonna help me, I'll do it on my own. Oh, and by the way, we're not friends anymore either. Dan, congratulations on the success of your movie. It's already breaking records. You've got to be a trillionaire by now. Thank you so much. It's been an incredible journey. I'm just grateful for the support of my fans and everyone who's enjoyed the book and the movie. Well, it's well-deserved success, Dan. The audience is loving it and so am I. Hey, this is actually my movie. Dan stole it from me. This is trash. Hey, get your hands off me. Come on, weirdo. Get out of here. No, no, this guy's a loser. Come on. Ah, <sighs> Cooper. Dan, seems like you have some history with that man. Any idea who he is? Yeah, that's my brother. Well, I'm sorry if my words are insensitive. I didn't know he was your brother, but I will admit he is a terrible person and I hate him. Yeah, family's complicated. But hey, you know what? Back to the movie. Let's talk about that. Whoa, Dan, I can't believe it's really you. Yeah, it's, it's me, man. I've been a fan for so long. Thank you for coming to this book signing. Yeah, well, thanks for being here. Because of people like you, I get to do what I love. I'm just so glad to have you as a fan. You know, sometimes I feel like everybody hates me. But when I read your books, I can escape into the world you created. You know, I used to think the same thing, too. Wait, really? You did? I did, but I don't anymore. Writing these stories was my way of escaping, too. Now they're connecting me with really cool people like you. Oh, wow. You're my hero, Dan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dan, this is incredible. With the final copies of the book you sold today, you have officially become a trillionaire. After everything that I've gone through, all these challenges, I'm finally a trillionaire. I did it. Ah, it's freezing outside. No room for trash like you. Another day, another apple from the trash. Ugh, this thing's so gross. There has to be a better life for me out there than, than this. Out of my way, loser. Don't hog all the trash to yourself. Hey, knock it off, man. Rick, you're a weak loser. Only the strong survive out here. That's not true at all. You also have to be smart about what you do. You also have to be smart about what you do. And everything will be okay. You're so stupid. All right, smart boy. Figure this out, then. If I take your food, what does that leave you with? Ha! <laughs> nothing. Hey, give it back, Gar. That's mine. You pipsqueak. There's nothing you can do or ever do. <laughs> ah! Rick was so tired of being homeless. He was always a small kid, but he was very smart, and he knew he had a bright future. He did really well at school until he lost his parents in a plane crash. He had to grow up alone and on the streets. Oh, man. You know what? That's it. I'm tired of this. Starting tomorrow, I'm not just going to sit around and let people push me around whenever they want. I'm going to use what I have, and I'm going to be rich and successful. At least I made it through the night, but is this rain ever going to stop? Oh, wait. Are these people hiring? Oh, I have to apply. This is a great place to start off. Hey, you guys are hiring, right? I love to apply. Yeah, we are hiring. Unfortunately, we're not hiring poor, pathetic losers like you. Come on, man. Give me a chance. You don't even know who I am yet. I don't care to know who you are. I make five Robux an hour and I'm miserable. Get out of my cafe. Whatever. I don't need this. Hey, you. Wait up. Oh, look, if you're going to pick on me too, man, just don't even bother. I'm already leaving. No, no, not at all. I'm a janitor on the school campus. I saw you talking to the professor the other day. Well, more like the professor kicking you out. Yeah, all because I want to make more out of myself. But no one believes in me. Ah, uh, don't take it personally. That guy's just a total snob. He's rude to me, too. And I clean his desk every night. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, dude, but at least be thankful. I mean, you have a job. You you make money. Hey, kid, not everyone's life is easy, all right? But it seems like you've got the good attitude and you want to put in the work. I've been looking for an assistant. Would you be interested? Wait, seriously? Yeah, you got a good head on your shoulders. You like to read. You want to better yourself. Why not give you a chance? I promise. You're not going to regret it. All right, it's my first day of work. I just can't mess anything. Up. There he is, my junior janitor. <laughs> Welcome to work, kid. Glad to be here. Well, good. Keep that attitude up. Here, this is your trusty broom. You'll be sweeping the tech lab. All right, awesome. I appreciate it again. I'm ready to get started. This is insane. Being around all of this, never thought I'd be allowed in this school. So much knowledge just everywhere. What is this? A, a tablet? Oh, oh my gosh. There's so much information that everyone has access to. With all this, 
this. This can change anyone's lives. Uh, you again? No, no, get out. I'm calling security. Wait, no, I, I work here. I'm a janitor now. Yeah, and you're also a bad liar. Ah, oh, Professor Stonehill, I see you've met my new assistant. Your what? Assistant? Well, I wasn't notified of this. You're the one that yelled at me to get a new assistant. Ah, whatever. Hiring a homeless loser. Have fun with that. Thanks for standing up for me back there. I really appreciate it. Eh, don't worry. Like I said, that guy's a jerk. Now get back to work. Yep, I I'm on it. Maybe I'll do a little bit of reading, too. Reading? Uh, yeah, fine. I guess you could read a little bit in your off time. No, just look at all these tablets. You know what? I'm gonna make enough one day so I can afford one of these. Oh, well, why don't you just borrow one? Wait, what? I can borrow one? Yeah, I won't mention anything to anyone. One tablet goes missing. This school's so expensive, they won't notice. Oh my gosh, thank you. Make sure you bring it back when you're done. I don't want to get in trouble for this. Of course. You can count on me. I'm stoked. I have my own tablet now. I've been reading so many articles in it. Stuff about space, science, and now I'm gonna start actually reading about tech repair. Whoa, well, look at what we got here, huh? You steal this from some poor rich kid? Hey, hey, give that back. Seriously, don't mess with that. Well, what's gonna happen? Oops, I just dropped it in a puddle. Hero, why would you do that? You know what? I've had it. Hey, hey, get back here. Oh my gosh. No, not the tablet. No, this entire thing's busted. It's ruined. I have to explain all this to Mr. Roberts tomorrow. Wait, actually, maybe I can use what I just read about all the tech repair stuff. And I, I can try to fix it. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna try to fix it. I see, it's a long long day on the field, huh? Yeah, Professor Stonehill wants me to cut the field with a pair of scissors. You have any idea how long this takes? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, why with a pair of scissors? Because the guy's a jerk! Y yeah, anyway, look, um, there's something I need to tell you about the tablet. What about it? So, I may have accidentally broke it last night, but- You did what? I told you to take care of that thing. I could get fired for this. Well, listen, you didn't let me finish. I did some reading, and, and I think I fixed it. Hopefully, it's okay. Here. Let me take a look at this thing. That doesn't look too bad. Whoa. It's actually running a lot faster. Look how quickly I can open this page. Dang, kid, you must have done something to this thing to make it work a whole lot better. Yeah, I just installed some extra software and fixed it up a few places, that's all. <laughs> you know, you got a gift, kid. Maybe you're one of those people that fixes things. I'd like to think that. There's a lot of kids on campus that constantly break their phones and clog up their tablets with stupid selfies. Well, you know, Maybe I should start, like, a side business for it, then. You know, actually, that is not a bad idea. Then you can make enough money to buy your own tablet. <laughs> yeah, the only issue is not a lot of people know who I am. Ah, don't worry about that. I'll spread the word around. Once a couple kids start talking, they all start talking. <laughs> this could really turn my life around. I knew once I started to work hard, it would pay off. How do people break all their electronics so much? Don't they care for what they buy? These things are expensive. Hey, are you the guy that fixes phones and stuff? Yeah, I'm just starting my business right now. Perfect. I dropped my phone last night down the stairs. You think you could fix it? Yeah, dude, of course. But I'm texting my girlfriend, and if I don't respond back in the next hour, she'll be so mad. You think you can fix it by then? Yeah, let me take a look at it here. Um, Oh, dude. What, is it bad? Do I have to ask my mom for a new phone? She's gonna be so mad at me. No, you broke her screen protector. Here, Here's a new one. Ugh, that was a close call. I almost lost it for a sec. Yeah, and this is for you, man. You earned it. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, just, just spread the word out, all right? Yeah, dude, definitely. Wow, he really spread the word. I have a huge line now. I knew this idea would kick off. Look at you. Ha, this is awesome. You making any money, kid? Yeah, dude, look at all this I made. It's tons. I'm proud of you, man. What are you going to do with all this money? Well, honestly, I think I'm going to invest it back into this. Make a proper store. That way the business can get even bigger. I think you can make it happen. There are plenty of empty spaces in the city. You'll find one. Uh, this guy's days are numbered. This is a prestigious school, and I'm not letting any trash ruin it. So this is where this idiot lives, huh? Trash. Nothing but trash. Gotta find something on him to take this guy down. Hey, you. That's my trash. Get lost. Ah, uh, another homeless idiot. Looking for some information. Trying to take down a loser. Goes by the name of Rick. Oh, Rick? I hate that guy. You do, huh? Yeah, he thinks he's better than everyone else. But he's not. No, he's not. He's pathetic. And I want to take him down. You looking for a job? You don't want to be a homeless loser loser forever, do you? No, of course not. Well, why don't you work as my personal assistant? This could work out to our advantage. Yeah, I'll do it. No problem. You gonna pay me, right? Of course I'll pay you. Take a shower first. You smell like garbage. Oh, this is awesome. I haven't taken a shower in weeks. Ew, that's 
gross. All right, come on. Let's talk about ruining Rick's life. My own apartment, too. This is everything I've wanted. You know what? I, I deserve to celebrate tonight. Fix all these tablets tomorrow. I want to get some takeout. I want to get some actual food. Never really had some before. Look at this place, huh? He thinks he's living in some fancy hotel? Not on my watch. Ah, here they are. <laughs> Just chuck these out the window. Later. <laughs> His reputation will be ruined. Wait, wh what? Where's my stand? It's gone. I talked to the head of the school. We don't want your stupid lemonade stand on our property anymore. What? You can't just do that. I was helping the other students. Yeah, well, not even they like you anymore after you lost all their tablets and stuff. I don't even know what you're talking about, man. You owe this campus a lot of money. Running a business on school property, you better pay up. This is insane. You don't even know what you're talking about. Look, your little repair shop or whatever it's called is shut down for good. Now you better get lost. Rick, I heard everything that happened. So sorry. That Professor Stonehill. Yeah, I know. He literally just took everything away that I've been working towards. I wish I could help, but the higher-ups pay my paycheck and going against them, not really much I can do. It's okay. I appreciate all the help that you've done so far. I just know that I'm probably gonna have to figure this out all on my own. Yeah, but you are one smart man. I know you'll be able to figure it out. So what are you gonna do next? I mean, obviously I have to resign as the assistant. Otherwise, you're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, you're probably right. Hate to see you go, but might be for the best. And on top of that, I'm gonna keep sticking with the plan. Just because they knock me down doesn't mean I'm just gonna give up. Well, you were talking about having a normal store. Why don't you look into that? Yeah, that's true. I just don't know where to start. Well, the old electronics store downtown really is, uh, it needs some help. It's not as nice as the tech lab, but it's probably got some good electronic parts. And there, it's a good place to start. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I will. So this is the store. Oh my- No, nope, no, nope, get out! Hey, what's it to you, man? I just wanted to come check this place out. Are you snot nose kids are all the same. You keep coming in here trying to steal things from a poor old man. I'm not here to steal anything. I'm actually here to buy some stuff. Uh, really? Yeah, I would never steal from you, dude. Uh, I'm sorry. After all these years, I just figured you were some kind of rude kid, that's all. You know, I've been running this shop for a long time. About 50 years or so, my mom and dad started the place. Maybe I can help with some business I have to offer. You helping with my business? <laughs> well... I mean, maybe. The store's not making a whole lot of money. What do you have in mind? I was actually thinking about buying the store, the entire place. Buy the store? Really? Yeah, and don't worry. It'll stay the same name and everything, okay? But I just want to help clean it up and make it something more. Well, if you're interested in the business and we keep it the same name, I think it's a good idea. Of course. Your guys' respect will always come first. But I'm going to help make this place the best chain of tech repair shops ever. Look at this place. Everything's cleaned up and ready to go. That's it. I'm confident that this is going to be successful. This place is only the beginning. You smell that? It smells disgusting in here. <laughs> yeah, not much of a step up from the dumpster, huh? Wait, how do you guys know each other? Daryl here is my new personal assistant. Yeah, and he's paying me big money, too. <laughs> so what, both of you guys teamed up to take me down, huh? Is that it? Well, the exit's behind you because I'm not going to let that happen again. Hey, look at this guy. He thinks he's some smart guy, huh? Yeah, yeah, he thinks he's smart. But he couldn't even beat you at a crossword puzzle. I just want to give you a heads up, Professor, that Daryl is not really the brightest in the box. Hey, that's not true. Shut up. Look, why don't we put this to a little test, huh? You think you're such a smart guy. Why don't you partake at the general knowledge contest at the school? There's a big cash prize. If you're smarter than Daryl, you can win. But he's not smarter than me. Shut up, Daryl. Listen, you know what? I will do it. But on one condition. If I win, stop messing with my business. <laughs> yeah, you got yourself a deal. Come on, Daryl. Let's get out of here. You hang around trash too long if you begins to smell. Yeah, I know deep down, they're just jealous. I just gotta focus on my goal and I can easily beat them, without a doubt. Yeah, after all the studying and stuff, I just hope it's gonna be enough. Well, you know, working at this school long enough, you pick up a couple things. I bet I could help you out. Wait, really? Are you sure you know about all this stuff, though? Why? You think I'm a janitor? You don't think I'm smart? No, no, that's not it at all. Let me tell you a little story then, buddy. I didn't always used to be a janitor. I was the head coach for my son's hockey team till there was an accident and I lost my son. Oh, oh. I'm sorry to hear that. You remind me a lot of him, to be honest, but I haven't been up to coaching in the past couple of years. Until now. If you really want to do that, I can really use your help. Yeah, of course. It's the least I could do. That means a lot to me. I guarantee you, with both of our knowledges combined, I can totally win this thing. 
You really want that cash prize, don't you? Yeah, it can really help. I want the cash prize, and I just want the professor just to lead me out of his life. Ah, Stonehill. Yet again. Well, I know you can beat him. So let's get to it. Hi, nice to meet you, sir. Hi, oh my gosh, who let a homeless guy here? Hey, you better watch it. This is the next winner of your contest. Wait, someone actually let this guy apply? Look at him. He's filthy. Hey, don't judge a book by its cover, all right? I have what it takes. Yeah, well, good luck. Oh my gosh. Ah, don't worry about him. Don't let it get to you. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not listening to what he's saying. I'm just excited. Good, you should be. You studied hard and you know all this stuff. All right, now I'm gonna go check us in. Wow, you actually showed up. Ha! <laughs> I'm surprised. Yeah, what made you want to show your dumb face here, huh? Says a lot coming from you, Daryl. I told you, I'm not just going to give up. I'm actually going to try for this. Yeah, well, this will be all over very quickly. I know you just think I'm some homeless guy, but one thing you don't know about me is that I don't give up. See what I told you? He just talks and talks and... Yeah, let's see if we can actually put his brain where his mouth is. I don't know. I'm starting to get a little nervous. My hands are sweaty. Are your hands sweaty? Ew, no, shut up. You're supposed to beat him. You can't get nervous now. Or I'm Honestly, though, Rick is kind of smart. Don't worry. I got a trick that's going to make sure you win. Oh, uh, what is this? It's an earpiece. Put it in your ear, and I'll read you the answers. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just submitted the final question in. Waiting for the answers from the contestants to write it down. I got it. I got it. All right, and what is your answer, Daryl? Based on compact fractions. That's right, compact fractions. Ha, I win. You lose, Rick. Uh, Daryl. I think you meant compound fractions, first of all. And secondly, this is a question about English history, not math. Wait, what? No, no. Uh, the right answer was Shakespeare, sir. That's right. Rick nailed it. And that is our winner, the homeless man, Rick. Yeah, way to go, Rick. Here's your cash prize. Maybe we'll buy some clothes or something. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you so much again for helping me out. You can actually celebrate with a nice dinner and everything. I haven't eaten food like this in years. It's incredible. And I like the new look, by the way. You look halfway presentable. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, thank you. But something's off. You're not telling me everything. I don't know. It just, it's just kind of weird, right? I mean, I know Daryl more than anyone, and there's no way he'd be the final two in that competition. So what do you think? He cheated somehow? Yeah, I mean, it seemed like it. I mean, besides the last last question, but you, you heard how he was answering it. He seemed like he didn't know what to say. It's almost like someone wasn't there telling him what to say. Yeah. Why does it really matter? What good did it do him, huh? Cheaters always lose in the end, and that's clearly what happened. Yeah, no, you're right. I was just thinking about what I want to do with the rest of the money, and I think I have an idea. Well, you already got your store. You're paying off your apartment. What else is there to do? I think I want to upgrade this current store I'm working at right now to make it even better. The old man that I bought it from, he seemed really passionate about his family's business, and I just want to help him make good on his family. Well, that sounds really nice of you, Rick. Hopefully the store succeeds. Yeah, but that's only step one, because once I'm done with this, I'm going to start a franchise, and I'm going to open more stores, and everything's just gonna keep growing and growing until I finally reach the goal I want to reach. Oh, that sounds amazing. I know you have what it takes. Now go do some great things, Rick. You know, he was right. You are an idiot. All you had to do was say what I had to say, and you weren't even listening. I got distracted, that's all. Plus, the thing in my ear was getting itchy, and you were using those big words. I didn't know what you were saying. Just shut up. This doesn't help us. Rick is on his way to success, and I need to see the man fail. But he got all that problem prize money. Probably out spending it right now. What if he's buying a mansion? Oh my gosh, he didn't win that much money. But there's gotta be a way. A way for us to take that money from him. Well, why don't we just rob him? You know, it's simple, but it might just work. You're pretty good at stealing things, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, the best. Perfect. Why is my entire apartment destroyed? Everything's trashed. No, 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 wait, wait, where is it? The money, the money that I won, it's missing. How is this possible? I just completely changed my locks in this place too. No, so Someone did this, and I feel like I knew who did. <laughs> it feels good to steal this idiot's money. Look at it all. Yeah, and I got a genius in one thing. Breaking and entering. And look, I got the cash prize. <laughs> yeah. All off that stupid, poor, pathetic Rick. I think it's time to celebrate, my friend. That's it. I know you guys did it. You guys need to give me back my money now. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do about it, huh? Every time you try to fight me on the streets, you lost. Yeah, well, that doesn't matter, all right? I'll bring you guys down one way or another. So I'm not going to ask again. Give me back my money. What are you talking about this? How do you even have proof this is your money? Hmm? You guys do realize that I've had cameras installed, right? I'm not an idiot. I'm not just gonna fall back into this trap again. You idiot. You got caught on the cameras. Well, how was I supposed to know they were there, huh? So give it back right now or I'm gonna call the cops. No, you can't do that. I can't go back to prison. <laughs> 
Well, you really are a smart one, aren't you? Outsmarting us are at every corner. Here, take the money back. Thanks. And if you guys decide to cross me again like this, you guys are gonna regret it. Yeah, be right there. Who could that be? Oh, Rick. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, dude. Uh, I came by because I have a surprise for you. Oh, boy. What is it this time? Here, just, just come on. I'll show you. All right, and open your eyes. Uh, okay. You brought me to some bougie neighborhood. What's going on? No, dude. This is your home. Wait. What? I know it's a lot, but you're the reason why I'm successful right now, and I'm doing good. If anyone deserves it, it's you. Rick, I, uh, I'm just so overwhelmed. How can you afford this? Well, along with the cash that I won, the store that I've invested in, it's doing great. So I've been making a lot of money. Come on, let's take a look inside. This is incredible. A sauna and an indoor pool and an outdoor one? What am I supposed to do with that many pools? I don't know. Well, whatever you want. I mean, this is your home, dude, and you deserve it. I just can't believe all this. It's incredible. Rick, this is gonna change my life. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, but that's not all. How would you like to be the second command in my company? You're choking, right? Right? No, of course not. We're gonna be opening up a lot of stores, including some in other countries, so we're gonna need the help. Now on to doing better things for the both of us. What? His business is booming? No, no, not if I have anything to do with it. <laughs> well, I guess me and Daryl will be doing some traveling soon. All right, here we are, another location. I think my store is gonna do great here. It's gonna open tomorrow morning, and I can't wait. <laughs> This boy has no idea what's coming to him. Wow, look at this new store. This is incredible. Oh, I'm so excited to be here, man. I heard that the CEO was homeless. Can you believe it? Now he wants to give back. Hey, what's up, everyone? Are you guys ready for the opening? Yeah, man. All right, well, the store's officially open. Welcome, everyone. What? The, the, the place, this this place is totally wrecked. I can't open the store like this. Um, Hey, we're going to have to cancel the opening. Wait, what? Why? This is ridiculous. Guys, I... I I promise it'll be worth it. Um, oh no, I can fix this, but uh, I need to ASAP. All right, and done. I think the store's back in order. I should be able to let everyone in now. I just hope that the delayed launch goes well tomorrow. You know what? No, I know it's going to. I hope the crowd's gonna understand what I had to do. I need to get to the bottom of why it was like that. Daryl and the professor didn't follow me here, did they? No, there's no way. But all those people were so excited. It felt amazing to see them and know that I can make a difference in their lives. I know that this is only the beginning. Store number three, here I come. All right, well, at least the launch went well the second day. All this flying is exhausting, though. It's just good to be back where all of it started. I remember the first little shack that I started in fixing phones. But it's not time for nostalgia right now. I have to do some unfinished business. Uh, Professor. Oh, the big super smart CEO returns. How was your store launch? Heard it was a little rocky. Oh, did you now, huh? Is that because you had something to do with it? Who can say? All I know is that those people hate you just as much as I do. Well, that's not true, actually, because the launch went great. The opening on the second day actually made more people come in because all those people in line spread the word even more. Well, that wasn't the plan at all. Ugh. Why do these things keep happening to you? What can I say? What goes around comes around. You snot-nosed little brat. Get out of my school. I'd be careful the way you talk to me. That's not a way to talk to your new boss. Excuse me? Yeah, so uh, if you see what I have in my hand right here, this is the deed to the school. I bought it. No, 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 no. And you know what the first thing I'm gonna do is? I'm gonna make this entire place free for everyone because everyone deserves an opportunity at education. You're gonna make it free? What? The school was made to make money. Well, apparently it wasn't a good job at hiring its professors because the last owners decided to hire a criminal. Oh, you, you're gonna regret this. Yeah, well pack up your bags, man, because you're gone. Yeah, I am gone. Can't be standing around home with crap. Uh, you know, I wonder what item in here smashes on the ground the best. There you are! Well, boss, you you don't look happy. I, uh... <laughs> Boss, that's my apple. Who does Rick think he is, huh? He needs to be reminded that he is a poor piece of trash and he will never be anything other than that. Hey, uh, are you? Hey, yeah, listen, kid. You don't want to bring your tablet here. Why not? It's broken. I want to fix it. I'm from the Better Business Bureau, kid. And I got a tip that the owner of this place uses cheap knockoff parts. And when they break, he makes you come back and fix it. He doubles his money. Why, uh, what? Uh, I don't want my tablet to break. No, you don't want want your tablet to break. What will all the kids at school think? Oh, that you're poor and you can't afford a tablet. No, my, my worst nightmare. I'm going to tell my 
friends. This place sucks. <laughs> hey, couldn't find my apple, but I saw that. That was awesome. That's how a professional gets things done around here. And just like that, my fourth store is a success too. I honestly still can't believe this. I mean, look at all that money. I knew I could do it. I just hope my parents can see me now. Oh, hello? Rick! Rick, it's awful! Have you heard the news? No, what's going on? Someone's going around spreading rumors about the products we're selling. What? What rumors? What are they saying? There's a ton of stuff flying around right now. It's crazy! But it's killing the business, Rick! Look, look, just calm down, okay? We have to just get to the bottom of this and we'll be fine. First things first, though. I need to find out the rumors, so get that information. I'll be landing soon. <laughs> It's so easy to spread rumors about people. Thank goodness for the internet. Yeah, Rick must be crying now to himself like a baby. Speaking of the big adult baby, look who it is. Oh, Rick, what's wrong? Are you sad people are saying bad things about you? Yeah, I heard your business is doing awful. Should have expected it coming from you. Why aren't you saying anything, huh? Because I just wanted to wait for you guys to get it all out before I can talk. Ugh, whatever. What have you got to say? I hope you guys enjoyed your last moments of freedom. Let moments. We're not going to jail, right? Of course we're not going to jail, Daryl. I know it was you guys. I'm not dumb. I wasn't born yesterday. You guys are the ones that spread all those rumors. That's just what you believe. You can't prove that to a police officer. Yeah, well, I have footage of you talking to a certain student. The same student that went to all of our employees freaking out saying that we were giving them fake products. Just a weird coincidence. That's all. Yeah, I bet it is. Good thing our security cameras pick up audio too, so we'll be able to find exactly what you guys are talking about. Hey, boss, remember that that time I messed up, I think you messed up this time. Shut up! Well, guys, I don't have to deal with this anymore because the police already have your contact information. They'll be calling you real soon. Oh, you. You are gonna regret ever crossing me! Boss, you say that all the time. Shut up! Let's go! I gotta get on a plane. I gotta get out of here! Finally, I don't have to deal with them anymore. But still, I have one last thing I need to do. Rick! The mayor must congratulate you. You are officially the richest man in town. I knew you could do it, Rick. Yes, a trillionaire's never lived here before. We're all very, very excited. So I really did it. Yes, and as the richest man in town, we'll throw you a parade. We'll have your own special day. No, no, I don't want any of that. I want to be treated like a normal person. Because that's what we all are. We're people. When I was homeless, no one treated me like that. And I want everyone to realize it doesn't matter how much money we have. It matters who we are deep down which is why I'm going to be donating half of my money back to the city to help people in need. 